Hey, mommies, we updated our channel memberships. For $5 a month, you get updated badges, new emojis, no ads on YMH and Two Bears. And you get early access to both YMH and Two Bears. For just $10 a month, you get early access and no ads on all shows. And for $20 a month, you get all of both tiers and proof that you're not a fat poor. Click the join button on our YouTube homepage or right above the description of any one of our episodes. What are you waiting for? Join today. I feel like Quaaludes would have been my jam. I like pills. I like to get low. That's why you're a comic. Yeah. 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 Every single time. Take the road with more ketchup on it. I'm not garbage anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, that's still up for debate. They'll make the decision (laughs) on me. I met The Undertaker last week. No shit. Yeah. I went to his house. What? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sotva. Go to sotva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next Sotva purchase. And here we are. It's another episode of your mom's house podcast. Welcome. It is April. I am in Europa. I think tonight I'm in Berlin if you're watching this the second it drops. Um, appreciate all the European love. Uh, looks like Berlin is Tamara. Berlin. Uh, and then Copenhagen, Oslo, oh, Oslo. Palace, Athens, Prague, oh. Zurich, Vienna, Barcelona, <laughs> Madrid, Dublin, Glasgow, Dublin. Belfast, Dublin. London, <laughs> Birmingham, Manchester, Reykjavik. And then back to Las Vegas. Vegas, baby. Oh, Late yeah. August, early September. And you will be oh, in yeah. Chicago in 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 April. Also, Milwaukee, yes. yes, Charlestown, West Virginia, Denver. The fantabulous comedy works in September. Also, Gene, please buy my lipstick if you haven't already. We just restocked all the way from Italy. These have been selling out so quickly, and we just got the shipment in. So go ahead, get. This is my camera. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. So retarded. Yeah, what is wrong with me? I've become Jenny, my Jenny, mother. Jenny, Jenny. Yeah, this okay. is me. Anyway, by my, my lip shits, it's amazing. I'm wearing it right now, as there I always do. People are loving it. That's fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Um, uh, I'm get so the ready. Get business out of the way. I want to laugh. I want to laugh. A lot of good stuff to <laughs> talk about. Um, I want to laugh. How about we just get right to that opening clip and get I this thing going? I can't fucking wait. Here, 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 here. Here you go. go. Hey, you got a special for y'all guys today. Here in this town here in Hardy, Arkansas, we got Shit. a fella standing out here and he'll, he'll wave the American flag on the corner. He'll change in all kinds of different colors of clothing all the time. Well, well, I met him about 10 years ago, <laughs> and we've become good friends. Now, he's finally got his camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Randy? What the fuck, dude? Yo, mom, where the fuck is that? Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah, yeah. With Tom yeah, Segura. Yeah. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome. <laughs> Feel it inside of your balls. Feel the rhythm of the night in your balls. Feel it so hard. <laughs> There you go. Uh, so excited to have <laughs> back on the show. <laughs> this guy's amazing. I have, I struggle between the immediate um, reaction of oh, I wonder how drunk he is, to <laughs> going like maybe this is just how he is. You know, like I don't even know that he's inebriated. It's like, and it's sure. an assumption, but then you're like, no, nah, maybe he's not. Maybe not, because years of, of abuse will cause the brain to be permanently damaged. Yeah, there's holes in the brain. It's called alcohol disorder <laughs> abuse. Yeah. But also, yeah. I've noted that his teeth look better than the average weirdos. Which is not a drunk thing. Drunks don't so, have nice teeth. Correct. I'm a not little confused. Yeah. yeah. No. It's quite a conundrum. 
But he's, he's kind of like Jesus. I kind of our hardy Arkansas. He fits to move up to Detroit or somewhere up there in Michigan. Detroit? Well, we're going to do a bunch of fine Muskin? stuff before he leaves together. I mean, he leaves. We fought our lives together. Yeah. 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 I've gotten all prepared. I've got all prepared. The whole day for this. The whole day for this. So, you're going to make my friend here. His name is his name is, his name is T. Ty Tim. Hold on. You make my friend's hair name is T. Ty Tim. I don't know what the video is about, even. I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> <Does> <laughs> it, does anybody speak drunk, guy? Because yeah. this, Amer- this is an American. This isn't like the Killarney drunk. No, it's not. And this I don't know. I also don't know if this is just like a bit, you know, like a fun, a way to talk for a, because the camera's on. Oh, right. Oh, You know no. what I mean? Like. Two later, cockala. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Two later, cockalala. Cockalala. Will, will. Yeah. Will, will. Now he's got got his. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's saying. I love this so much. Oh, well, we're going to do some stuff, and he wants it to be put on my TikTok. I'm on we TikTok. Want to- so we're going to do it for you. We're going to do it for you. you. I got that. <laughs> You're going to do what? Be discreet. Be discreet. Discreet my ass. Discreet my ass. Okay. Under Wendy's. Un- under wings. Under Wendy's. I never had no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You think he's single? Yeah. 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 This guy is cool. Yeah. You know, I... Um, his, name, his name is... Yeah. Is un- 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 amazing is what I said. Can I tell you something? I drank three beers last night. Yeah. And I am fully R-worded today. Yeah. Like, and by the way... Yeah. I mean, I feel like this guy today. And I imagine he drinks more than three beers every night. Well, that's the thing is that, I mean, if this is a real, a real way that he really talks... Yeah, yeah, of course. He has massive holes in his brain <laughs> from just just decades of decades. incredible abuse of alcohol. And yeah. I would I would guess as well drug abuse. I'm going to put meth in there because he's super skinny. Because usually just alcoholics yeah. aren't they fat? He sometimes, does. sometimes they're not. It just depends on their body type and and, yeah. and uh, their their metabolism. I mean, they're skinny drunk. Yeah, my dad's a skinny drunk. Yeah, and you know what's really interesting is that. I really connected to my dad last night as I drank three beers and then pizza. You know, it's like coming with your dad. We talked about that. Oh, God. And my what dad, I couldn't, I don't you? know if my dad liked to come or get drunk more, but I will say. It's a drink, good sign when you have to weigh the question. You know? <laughs> he loved to both drink and come, but. Yeah. Um, I've gotten all prepared. Yeah. I've gotten all prepared. Yeah. Is that I when I was drinking the beer, I was like, this is so filling. It's like drinking a milkshake. And I had three of them. It's and incredible when somebody has the capacity to just keep going with those just on the volume alone. Volume yeah. of fluid. Because uh, I was always I was never even at my fattest. <laughs> I got my fattest. I couldn't handle I was never one of those guys that could drink that much. Beer or just beer. alcohol? Well, beer I was never a so big, filling. big drinker. I mean, I have nights where I've gone off the rails. I think, of course, like anyone, I'm still good for once a year. Yeah. I've like to, but for me, once a year too much is like too much, uh, like, you know, too much of hard liquor. If I have a few, yeah. all of a sudden I'm like, Oof, I'm a mess. Yeah. Beer wise, I've gotten drunk off of beer, but I, I've never was somebody that was like, I drank 15. I could never well, do that. And also I was thinking about it. If you love to get drunk, like, it's so inefficient. Like, Depends on how you look at efficiency. Okay, go ahead. Well, <laughs> go you, ahead, Tom. If you want to be drunk <laughs> like this, yeah, yeah, of course, drinking hard liquor is going to get you drunk faster. Yeah, but if you want to have a good time for a while, you drunk, you drink beer over time because oh. that alcohol, uh, you know, um, volume is lower, but it it adds up over over time, over drinking multiple beers, but your night's not over in an hour. You know, you can drink, you. you can pound whiskey or tequila and just be like, <laughs> I'm out. And you're, it's fucking 7.30. <laughs> you know, you're a mess. But you can start just drinking beers and do it for six, seven hours and just be like. And you know what? I think that's what my father liked most about that's beer. That's why concerts have, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, you're right. Because I was trying to think like, what is yeah, the extend possible. Extend the party. Your dad likes the party not to stop. Yeah, like one time he and his friend Willie, who's now dead, drank 75 beers between the two of them yeah. in Miami. And it's one of my father's proudest achievements. Yeah, I remember him talking about it. And he's he's mentioned it many times. And I haven't I'll, even spoke to your father that many times and he said it to me. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he's so proud of himself and he's like, and we drank full beer, Heineken, not light beer. Yeah. So like he was so stoked that he could achieve drink, that. Drink about 40 beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Right. But I was thinking last night, so I, I, I drank two pints of beer. I was so full. And then I stuffed pizza down my gullet. Yeah. And I was like, this is a lot of, it's very bloating. So of course you have to be carb fat. heavy. Yeah. So carb heavy. So I haven't even eaten yet today. It's noon almost and I'm yeah. not even hungry, but I just find it to be inefficient. I like to get drunk fast and with as little amount of alcohol as possible. Yeah. But you're, it's, you know it's I mean? funny you say that because you're actually, you're mostly a wine drinker. I do like wine, but I get ripped two glasses and I'm hammered. Well, that's pretty hammered. low tolerance. It's probably a good thing that's your tolerance. <laughs> There's some broads out there that they can go way harder than you. you know? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, of course. There's some real fucking alcoholic chicks out there. And they yeah. drink, but they drink like Everything. whiskey. Beer, whiskey. I can't yeah. do that stuff. Yeah. I won't. My body won't There's do chicks that. that drink bourbon straight, you know, or yeah. Jack and Cokes, vodka, tequila. Yeah. But see, this is why it's good to start drinking early. Like, because like 16 to 18 because I learned those lessons of alcohol so early that by the time I was in college, I was yeah. like, I ain't messing with whiskey. I'm not messing with tequila. I'd, I'd already puked and like done the fun stuff. Yeah. I think, you know, everybody deserves a couple experiences and then you decide whether or not that's going to change your behavior. Yes. Like for me, <laughs> I have had horrible hangovers. Horrible, horrible, horrible hangovers. Really gone too hard. I mean, I've overdosed also. That's usually that's what I was going to say. But I mean, you might just, want to start just there. alcohol related. I've had, I've gone over the line. And to be honest with you, most of the time now, when someone's like, we're out, we're having a good time, and someone's like, you want to get another one? A lot of times my brain just goes, you don't want to feel like shit tomorrow. Like, it's not worth feeling like shit tomorrow. It's I mean, not. I'm I'm a really lame drinker. I just don't, I You're just don't enjoy it. You're not big into it. I just don't really enjoy it. I just, you know, daytime, every time I have a day drink, every time Ugh. I have a day drink, the yeah. first thing that comes to my mind is like, I want to go take a nap. Of course. It, it I want to take, even if it's like day. one drink at noon, I'm like, I want to go lay down. And I don't like feeling like that. I don't want to go lay down, you know? No. So I'm like, no, it's not fun for me. It's so I like it. I don't like it. I don't like that feeling. I'd rather. I'm definitely a, um, evening. Like if yeah. I'm going to have drinks, it's going to be in the evening. You know, with dinner, I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd like a glass of wine with dinner. If yeah. we're going to have drinks, drinks, yeah, I'll have a cocktail or two. But I don't like getting over the line, really. I just don't enjoy it. Man. I don't enjoy getting over the line with cocktails because I feel like once you're over that line, you're just like. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the beer oof. bloat. Beer I bloat like is, I feel like a disaster today because I had beer and pizza yeah. last night. I'll tell you what I, I feel like would be the shit is angel dust. I still feel yeah. like that and would be. You've said this. I feel like that would, it's like for someone like me. You know, I'm kind of laid back, dude. It, it, you know, it gets you into the moment. It gets you wanting to like, all right, I'll but, have fun with you tonight. But Angel you know? Dust is like an upper. Yeah. And oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what, it's like speed, yeah? Like crazy uh -huh. speed? Uh, yeah, it's PCP, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's you, fucking... Can you even find PCP anymore? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, for sure you can get this, yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. This is interesting. It's a, a, a it's hallucinogenic. A hallucinogenic. Yeah. Uh, so it was de developed in the 50s as a surgical sedative, but it was later discontinued due to its severe <laughs> side effects. But yeah. it's still fucking cool. Like people well, still do it. I know you, you know? like to lift weights. Yeah. Imagine lifting on angel dust. Dude, people on angel dust will fight 10, 12 cops. They lift at up a time. cars. I know. It's so I mean, fun. I think I would really hit a new <laughs> level. Uh, if I'm trying to max out on some shit, if I was dusted up, got wet, got dusted. you, know, you got to get wet. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know you've said this and I missed out on quaaludes, which I'm so bummed about because- Still can get them. We can still get them. Where? In Mexico? <laughs> Just, I know a couple guys. Really? Can, yeah, of course. I, I know like, somebody in every field. I feel like quaaludes would have been my jam. I yeah. like pills. I like to get low. Actually, I think heroin- is my jam. If I'm being honest, I would love to get well, into heroin. That is, but the first two times only. And that then, is the greatest. I mean, dilaudid. Dilaudid is you know medical heroin. Yeah, and it's still, honestly, I mean, the birth of our kids was cool. Yeah, <laughs> but as far as best experiences of my sure. life. Del is, yeah. Yeah. I like those downers. Like I just want to be anesthetized totally. Put me out. I love Xanax. I love like 
Yeah. Fentanyl was great. And they gave it to me for my mm. ankle. I was like, this is heaven. I love Where have downers. You been? I love it. Me too. But you just said you were into PCP. You wanna... No, I didn't say I'm into it. I said, I, I think as a party, <laughs> as a, I've never tried it. I'm saying as a party thing, yeah. because I don't like hangovers, because I don't, you sure, know, sure. I feel like that would be a cool one to like, I would like to see me on it. You know what I mean? I like, would, I yeah. No, my, my go-to is downers. Yeah, same. Geez. I like oh, I yeah. like to shut it off. Same too. Shut everything off. I'll shut that brain down. I wish I had that Michael Jackson level of fame and money because I would hire a doctor to be like, time for Tommy to go to bed. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> go ahead and give me the injection. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's why I loved surgery. I'm trying to find surgeries. No. Just so I can get, you know, an anesthetic, uh, an anesthesiologist in I the know. room. And like, can I tell you one of the greatest the best fucking moment of my life was just like, yeah, like you night wake night. up, like, what the fuck's happening? And they're like, yeah, six hours have gone by. I'm like, oh, Ooh, man. I feel so rested. The best nap I ever took was before they harvested my eggs for IVF. Yeah. You know, or that surgery or whatever. No. And you're like, oh my God, this feels amazing. Best. When I had my uh, colonoscopy too, they give mm. you that's sweet. And they're sweet. like, what kind of music do you like? Propofol. They always have a thing they ask you. I go, what kind of music do I like? I go, I like him. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. And then you just wake up and you're like, what the fuck am I? It's great. It's great. I love it. Yeah. They're like, count to 10. One, and two, two <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gosh. That's good sleep, man. I know. I'm serious. If you're doubting surgery, go sign up for one. <laughs> Take you, care it of that. feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good to sleep like that. It really does. Yeah. I like even the grogginess out of it where you're like, oh, I'm still kind of lit. It's good. So fun. Yeah. Um, good times. Shout out to NASCAR. Mm. They fucking, they, rare, they only do like four road courses a year. Normally they're in an oval, you know, but like Coda here, Circuit of the Americas is a road course, right? Like multiple turns, hairpins, mm. back straight, like 20 turns on the course. They do like four road courses a year and they did one recently uh, here in Austin and I got to go to that and uh, Amazing. It was totally different scene. Like Daytona is basically the Super Bowl or like spring break. Like it's fucking wild. And out here it was like way more chill. Uh, it was a lot for me. I was like, this is more my speed. Yeah. So fun. They put on such a good, they throw such a good event. Like they actually, it's the most fan accessible sport. Like I'm new to it. I've never been to it except for these last two, but they let like fans walk around on the, on the track before and That's like cool. walk up to the car. Sometimes they get to like run into the drivers. Like most pro sports, they never get to do that shit, you know? Mm. And they just put on a really good time. It was, it was super fun. That's super awesome. Fun. I'm yeah. glad you had a good time. Yeah. I had a really good, and both of us did. Um, finally, we got to check out the comedy Mothership. Shout out. <sighs> To Joseph Rogan, he uh, wow. Bro. Since before I moved here, he was talking about doing this. Then there was a venue that fell through, so that was the whole thing. Oh, I'm doing it, and then that venue fell through. The other one that he was going to get, yes, yes. Then he, I remember when he got this, and then it was like, now the build will take place, and that was a long process. I mean, this is a this has been a process. Years. I saw this thing when it was gutted, the building when it was gutted out. And he was like, this is what it's going to be. And it was just like a vision, but I was mm -hmm. like, okay. Then, I don't know, a year later, I saw it like at the halfway stage or something. Then I saw it about 80% done and then I hadn't seen it. And then it opened while I think we were out of town. And then you did it one night and then I, I finally got to do it uh, on your night. I actually mm -hmm. went on your night and... uh yeah, he nailed it. It's it's fucking awesome. It's incredible. Everything is utter perfection. Yeah. And it's because he's been a comic for, for so many years. years. Yeah. And finally, one of us has made a club, so he knows. I mean, the detail, even what I love is the, the main stage, the fat man. Mm -hmm. Right behind the curtain where the performer, you wait as a performer to go out on stage, you part the curtains and you go out. He even put a chair behind that curtain just in a cubby so that you're alone to collect your thoughts. Right, shit that most clubs don't think don't about. Don't even, th like, that is so specific, a yeah. detail that only a comedian who's yeah. seasoned understands. And I think, too, it's just been lovely for us to have a community again, which we, you know, we've all lost because yeah. of moving and this and that. And it's just lovely to hang out with, like, degenerates and again. excited so crowds. Fun. Like, crowds oh, that pumped. are stoked to be there. I mean... Oh my God, I was an unannounced guest at your show. Yeah. 
it was fucking. It was a wild reception. I mean, they I, were awesome. Yeah, I, I, I that was probably that was they, the craziest reception. They stood I've ever up had when you club. got out. It's crazy. It was nuts. But I would also say this: I was watching people's sets, and it's just fun to be in that real club environment. Yeah, and God um, damn. everybody was enjoy. Everybody came off stage with a smile, whether they were like a door guy or door girl doing five minutes, oh my gosh. or someone like Ron White who was Ron popping White, in doing so spots. Ron White. Um, Everybody's having a good time. I would highly encourage um, comedians to come here, but also just to do your weekend, like book weekends. Do it at Comedy Mothership. Oh, like, dog. Like, let them know if you're a comic that you want to work there because it's hot and it's fun. It's really fun. It reminds me of like the great clubs in the country where you're like, when you go to Comedy Works in Denver, or Acme in Minneapolis, where you're like, man, that was fun as shit. It's fire. It's the same kind of vibe there like audiences that are stoked to be there and and know how to behave and they take their phones all the bullshit that you wish happened happens there and the you know, you know what is so it's everything down to every detail he even has the waitresses that are so skilled yeah that you don't even know when the check drop is no happening. idea you're like wait what no. so good and and it's just the attention, I almost cried when I was like, oh my God, finally, there's a yeah. club for us. It's perfect. It's really exciting. It's, it's fucking perfect. fun as shit, man. Perfection. Yeah. Get Nailed it. Get over there. Get over there, Get dog. over there, 6th Street in Austin, Texas, baby. Yeah. Oh my God. It's the best club in the country. I really think it is. Yeah, it's pretty great, In the world. Man. I don't think I've done anything like that. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Joe, because it's fucking rad. He like built us a clubhouse to hang yeah. out at. Um, what do you got as far as an email? You said you're going to read an email. Oh my Christ. Do you want to vomit? Okay, here we go. Hi, Hitlers. I'm listening to, all, to you all talk about people eating their boogers and how absolutely disgusting it truly is. I have a solution for everyone to learn from. Don't flick them. Don't eat them. Ready? Get a dog. I have two labs. <laughs> that love sitting with me anywhere I sit. So that means they're almost always available when I'm digging deep. Ugh. I started wiping my bugs under their lips and eventually they got a taste and started to recognize the sound of my slight nose blow to better position the bugs for picking ease. Now they know when I'm about to give them a treat and they start pushing their snout up around my face while All I'm trying right, to get that sucker let's go, out of Let's go to something uh, else. <laughs> oh, thank you, Derek. Wait, you don't like that? No, no. That's almost child abuse, right? Dog abuse? Oh, I, that was so gross. All right. I have something else I'm more excited to play. Oh, don't play puke. Is it puke? No, it's not puke. Okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> I hope you get this video response. Um, yes. The guy that did the uh, shitting and gave the description sure. of his shit. Um, yeah. I would love to <laughs> talk to him and yeah. uh, hear from him. In fact, I would like to uh, get some more videos of him taking a shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm blind. And I just like this for fun. It's just for just fun. a fun thing. And um, trying to find a friend on YouTube here mm, that just a friend. Uh, would understand and would be willing to share whenever he's got to take a dump. <laughs> um, I uh, always enjoy <laughs> poop humor. And um, I it's like more aviation than that. videos on here as this well. This is your show, pal. I can't believe <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Why are all the good ones dead? You could have been an honorary and, member um, of that Wyoming. That was really a great video. So um, I hope you get this. <laughs> yeah. Name is Bob. Yep. Okay, Bob. Um, you can reach me at home. I live alone. Home. I'm always looking for someone to talk to and mm -hmm. making new friends. Um, my computer has speech on it because I can't, um, you know, read, read. the yeah. information on the screen. So sure. it speaks to me. It's a program called Window Eyes, and it's really neat. So if you could have uh, named it something else. <laughs> kind of, a little Talk insensitive. To, me, to know me a little bit, I think you'd find. Uh, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> me as an interesting person. You're as very a blind interesting. Person. I'm a school teacher. I'm an amateur oh. ham operator. Oh. Uh, so I'm active in a lot of things. Active in my church. What? <laughs> what? I'm a teacher. He's a teacher. He's and I'm active church. in my church. And send me your shit video. Yeah. It How does this even work for him? Completely unfair that this man is dead. I know. I do not accept this. <laughs> I do not accept that he has died. <laughs> too fantastic. He's the greatest. Fucking a Fucking man. Shit. Okay, well hold on. You know what just occurred to me as well? What? He is only interested in guys taking a shit. That's all he said so far. So it's it is. Well, it's, it is. 
There is a preference there. Is yeah. That, yeah, I understand that. But yeah. is it dizzy like guys in general or just guys shitting? I mean, that's I don't whole... know. Maybe guys take gnarlier dumps. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he, he wants sounds, obviously. He's blind. So if it just yeah. goes like, he's not going to. He's in it for the, the sounds. He wants sound effects. That sweet music, yeah. Um, please, I'd appreciate it if you get back with me. Yep. Uh, okay. You can contact me at 734 324. Oh, not uh, anymore. My email is. R R E at SBC Global.net. Hope to hear That's from terrible. you sometime soon. Thank you. R-R- SBC Global.net. What's this guy got a <laughs> Lenovo? What the fuck's going on with this guy? That's such a dated email address. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, SBC Global. I didn't know they used to have that. Oh, there's some fucking dorks that have that. Yeah. yeah. Lenovo dorks. Uh, um, by the way, do you think they should have called the program not Window Eyes? It does mm. seem a little rude. But branding wise, like if you're, I don't know. I know. It just seemed a little mean. Yeah. Like I don't know. we're still like reminding them they can't see. It should be more empowering. This guy's incredible, though. He's really something. I mean, no. the fact that he's like, I think you'd find that I'm interesting. I'm a school teacher. I'm active in my church. church. I'm a ham. Op- ham. Yeah, radio operator. Also, I love to listen to guys take shits <laughs> and describe what they ate and where they shit. Yeah. And you know what's really cool about yeah. him, too, is that he sees no shame in that. Like, he will list that oh, yeah. oh. amongst, I love bird watching, I'm, I love taking care of my nieces but and nephews, this, and I like shit. For those of you that don't get it, this is why <laughs> he's perfect for this show. He's, <laughs> it's the fact that he's shameless that is so endearing. <laughs> That's what I love about it. That's 100% right. Yeah. It's so matter of This is of real. Fact. This is genuine. This yeah. is authentic. Yeah. yeah. And cancer, fuck you for taking another one. <laughs> God damn it. I would, ha- I would hire this guy. He could fucking... I know. I'd give him a house. Yep. I'd buy you a house if you were alive. Yeah. Just to fucking have you in here every week. Move him to Austin and then bring him in and be like, tell us about the shit that you yeah. heard this week. Have him describe this. Like his perfect shit. What would be your perfect shit? And he's yeah. like, well, yeah. the guy unbuckles his there's, buckles there's real there's loud. certain high fatty foods that uh, <laughs> kind of make everything come out at once. Like have him break down. I like farts. I like rapid fire. Yeah. Farts and caca. He's so like sincere So about sincere. It. Yeah. And, he, and then he wants to make friends with you on top of it. So he's also like, I want you to make these shit vids, but I also want to get to know you. Yeah. Who's the person behind the dumb? I'm looking for a friend. He's like, I'd love to make a friend on YouTube. That's, That's what he was doing. That's crazy. A friend who sends you shit audio. It's kind of rad. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't argue with that. I mean, he also, even in, he didn't say that the last time he did a video, he was like, I'm also a huge fan of aviation. Like, <laughs> he likes that too. We are supported by DraftKings. The basketball season is entering its final stage. Teams have been competing since October for their shot at the title. Today's video sponsor, DraftKings, is bringing the high stakes action to all new customers. DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $150 in bonus bets if their pregame money line wager of $5 cashes. Yep, that's right. New customers bet just $5 on any pregame money line wager, and new customers will receive $150 in bonus bets if their bet hits. Wondering, but you could use $150 in bonus bets on. Try DraftKings Same Game Parlays, where you can combine multiple bets from the same game into one big bet for a shot at an even bigger payout. If mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still get in on the fun with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they offer cash prize contests for nearly every sport. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use the promo code MOM. Bet $5 on any pregame money line wager and get $150 in bonus bets if your bet hits. That's promo code MOM only at DraftKings Sportsbook. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. I'm a huge, huge proponent of therapy. I've been doing it for over a decade, and I honestly do not know how I would function day to day with that. I mean, I look forward to it every week. I'm a huge, I, I feel like everybody should do it. Literally, there is no downside to therapy. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give 
BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash mom's house today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash mom's house. What do you think she's into? Another laptop. Oh boy, yeah. The blender I make my smoothies with. She Get could, old girl at an angle. There you go. She could tuck the stuff under okay. her fat roll. It's great. My griddle I make pancakes with. <laughs> Period. This one's going to be a hard one, but I think I can do it. <laughs> a vacuum Jesus. cleaner. My vacuum You can do it, it weighs sister. a lot. You can Get do it. There. Get in there. There you go. And last but not least, a banana. Oh, that's easy. Wow. But the banana should have been the first. You should end on well, the vacuum cleaner. It's kind of a jokey punchline, I think, right? Oh, was it to go in her pussy? Like, is that what she's saying? No, oh. I think it was like, here's something that obviously is simply, you know. Hey, yeah, oh, that was her attempt at a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Kind of makes you um, think about uh, a guy I know that you're a huge fan of, you know? I mean, watching this makes me think of somebody else, you know? Um, Dietitian, come talk to you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you talk to her about the food that they've been sitting in here? Well, I don't know why you don't like the food that everybody else sees in the world. <laughs> Show me what they brought to you. This, I didn't touch it. I don't, well, that's good, good lunch. I don't eat that. I don't eat beans at all. I don't even know what that is. And this look like dog food. You don't like meat? I don't eat stuff like this. That's good nutrition, that's good protein. Right? My bean, I don't eat beans at all. But, but how about the meat? I don't eat the kind of meat. Hmm. That's Dr. No. Dr. Now. Dr. Now. Um, if you've ever watched any of those extreme weight loss surgery. I love it. So he's like the premier uh, gastric bypass surgeon, I think in the world, mm -hmm. at least in the United States. And I believe he's out of Houston. Yeah, and fatties waddle to him from all over America. And the best thing, if you watch any of these show, he talks to <laughs> fat people the way you wish you could. Um, but it's it's impolite. But he's just like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I've been dealing with these people for 40 years. Yeah. And he always like, he, what he does is he'll be like, okay, well, for you to have the surgery. So he makes them do weight loss first. So he, yes. he's like, you're, let's say someone's like five, 600 pounds. He'll be like, all right. You need to come back here in a few months and have lost 50, and he weighs them. You know, he puts yes. them on, he's like, all right, you're 600 pounds. You have to weigh 550 the next time we weigh you or no surgery. And they're like, okay. And then sometimes they come back and they've lost that or more. He's like, very good. You actually have self-control. Okay? He sounds like Yoshi. Like he's like, I like him. He's a very good performer. Um, <laughs> or yeah. sometimes they'll lose not enough weight. Oh boy. And he's yeah. like, sorry, bye bye. You're not strong. You're not yeah. fat. You're very yeah. fat. Bye. And he just walks out. And they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. He's like, oh, I gave you three months. He didn't lose any weight. Well, yeah. I haven't really ate it since I've been here. You're not going to fade away. <laughs> you're not going to. I still have to eat something. No. <laughs> eat the food that belongs to the next four years <laughs> ahead of time. So if you don't eat, you're going to be all right. At your weight, body got the reserve that you don't need anything for a week or two. You're not gonna have anything gonna happen. But like in a hospital, yeah. when taking medication and having to take different medicine, you have to have food in your system to take the medicine, not to be nauseated. But the dog food that they give me here. <gasps> it's that's not. Weird. I don't eat stuff like that. And that's not dog food. That's very good food. Yeah, he doesn't take any doesn't take shit. shit. He doesn't but, take but shit. But you know why? Because these people, they're junkies and they're yeah, vices. these are food. addicts. So yeah. he knows how to handle the addicts because it's they the same as like always the, have the excuses. drunks and drug addicts. One hundred percent. I need the, some medicine. Yeah, yeah. But so and also like you forget when you're that heavy to lose that first fifty Easy. that he's requiring Easy. literally means don't drink soda for yeah. these folks and like yeah. just don't eat garbage. You you can have regular food he'd but eat that's like it reasonably well and then this shit's gonna you see because you're, yeah, you're so heavy yeah. your body wants to stabilize so they can't they, they're addicts they can't yeah. do it i think this is when so when fun. he is uh he had a follow-up like though i'm telling you he has a follow-up <laughs> with somebody who yeah. like 
he told them lose a certain amount of weight for the surgery and yeah. they come back and he's just so direct <laughs> you just had your bypass about two months ago and when you left the hospital you were down to 546 so you lost only nine pounds since then but renee has lost almost 50 pounds at the Ooh, same time dang. and she hasn't even had her bypass yet what in the world is going on with you <laughs> oh, i guess i'm eating wrong things <laughs> You think it's funny? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny? Uh, I like you how you talk. You have a gastric bypass. I had a gastric bypass, To yes. lose weight. To lose weight. And you're not losing weight. I don't eat a third what I oh, ate before I had that question. surgery. Okay. Then you're asking me questions that. that I don't understand no more and you understand. What are you talking about? You're choosing to overeat and you think it's okay? No, I don't think it's okay at all. So what is going on? I guess I'm not eating the right things. I mean... We gave you the instruction that you need to follow, and you're not yeah. following. You play your cards right until you got the surgery, and now you're playing this kind of game, Ooh. and you think that's okay? How in the world does somebody... I'm playing any game. I throw up constantly. I eat well, what I can keep down. That's how it works. You throw up <laughs> constantly because the surgery forces you to when you overeat now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this person, this is a unique one. So he said you played, so this person did, did the follow the, the protocol to get the surgery, then got the surgery and has reverted probably back to yes. their old ways. And he's pissed. He's like, you tricked me. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking, yeah. you made me think you were going to do it and yep. now you're not doing it. I think my problem is, is I'm holding a lot of fluid. I can't hardly pee. Really? I, I don't, I don't know what, I mean. Really? What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> you think that you're not eating and you're getting I don't want to get malnourished either. Oh my God. Do you look like you're malnourished? <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. It's <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah, he um, amazing. He oh, he never he never lets anybody slide. No, he never you know, lets them slide. It's like when we used to watch hoarders. Yeah, remember how desperately we wanted one of those therapists the to be of, like. Usually, there was like one. Just fucking throw it away. Yeah, just fucking throw it away. Like he's finally talking to these people the way that they, they can yeah. maybe understand. Like yeah. you're troubled. Stop doing. You're throwing up because you're eating too much. Yeah. Do you not want me to eat at all? You know that's not what I'm saying at all. You have been given a tool to help you change your life. Now that you had the surgery, the physical drive to eat is gone. So you have to deal with what is driving you to eat. Mm. That's the hard part and you don't want to do it. I love it. Yeah, this is totally... Fucking finally. It's on point. And you're running from it and self-destructing. Mm. I'm done with this conversation. Oh, go to oh. her. No, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna finish with you. No, we're not You're Get making it. me mad at me. You just sit down right there. Please, you just wait, sit down right down. over there. No, I'm... Wait, sit Ooh. down. I've never seen that before. At least she's walking. And and shoved him. Shoved yeah. him to open the door. I'm, I'm, so you're making me yeah. mad, yeah. Well, this is... But isn't this when anybody's like, you have a problem, or yeah, you, you should stop eating your feelings, and she's like, I want to yeah. eat my feelings. It's, well, it's very relatable, too. Of course. I mean, I, I empathize with the person because I understand that, like... The reason that they want to leave the room is because someone's confronting them it's with painful, with the painful emotionally yeah. painful. Yeah, Every, but everybody does this. But you, my point is also though that you need a, you need a doctor like this, not because so many of them would be like, well, you know, yeah, you've had the surgery and uh, now it's up to you, and then they just now walk out of the you. room. Okay. But he's actually like, the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you know, well, because you, you've been given this ticket to change your life, are you going to change your life? Are you just going to yeah. go back to the same awful habits? Yeah. It's sad because they want the help. Clearly they want the help. They just need to be reminded of why they were there in the first place. Sure. Because it is hard to go the distance and sustain. So hard. Yeah, of course. Of course. But I love that he talked. I wish Dr. Now was in every field of everything. Like, I wish your therapist was like him. He's like, shut up, get over it. <laughs> I wish the therapist Grow up. was like, are you like, really whining about this again? I know, you're shut like, up. You're like, yeah, that's what? what I need, doctor, like, now. Well, the Tell reason me. you're whining is because you're acting like a fucking loser. And you're like, like you're right, uh, I'm a fucking loser, doctor, it's true. now. It's true, it's true. We yeah. need more doctor nows in the world. We sure do. We sure People do. are fucking crybaby pussies. Do you, think, you um, do you think that a doctor like him would have spoken to um, my friend that we had uh, dinner with? Stop. That happened fucking... 
like over a month a ago. month ago yeah. i think about it every day yeah. and i'm still angry every day i get angry once a day about it we had we had Stop. Uh, I dinner with a friend of mine who i hadn't seen in a minute <sighs> um regular non-showbiz friend um came to dinner with his wife <laughs> i started to call him ira <laughs> I was like, you old fucking Jew, dude. <laughs> I've known him for years. And he was like, I don't eat tomatoes and I don't eat onions. And garlic is upsetting as well. <laughs> We'd go to dinner and then he's like, does this have tomatoes? And they're like, oh, yeah. And he's like, I can't handle that. And I was like, what are you, fucking 85? He's like, it gives me indigestion. <laughs> and then we go, we worked out and, you know, I just. Wait, and also, sorry, he can't handle spicy foods. No, I don't like spices. So, so let's. Or tomatoes. <laughs> so let's go through this. Tomato, onion, garlic, and spice. That's A, everything that makes everything delicious. Yeah. And B, really helps fight all the bacteria and shit in your body. That's why they eat this shit in he every other country. Had so many things. And then like Stop. they brought something out. That did have like a few. He was like, "Stop! Remember when I <laughs> said I don't eat tomatoes?" And the lady was like, "Oh yeah." He's like, mm. "He gave it back," and we were like, "Why couldn't you just like knock them just off?" Not, don't eat tomatoes. Them. Well, it seeps into the <laughs> other food, and then we fucking we worked out no. and we're doing. And he goes. I can't squat so far because my hip is tight. And I was like, your hip is tight? He's like, yeah, it gets so tight. So he, hip, he did like three half squats and he was like, I can't go anymore. I'm like, yeah, maybe you should get that checked out. He needs a doctor now. I was like, do you want to go on a run? He's like, I can't. My teeth hurt when I run. I go, your fucking teeth hurt? His teeth hurt. I mean, there was one. I mean, isn't it like a fucking 90 year old? Jew, yeah. <laughs> it's Ira. It's fucking Ira, dude. Oh my yeah. god. Well, the what upset one me so thing much after another. about the dietary restrictions. So at one point we were at, we were eating in a restaurant and the waitress goes, "Oh, are you allergic to these things?" And he was like, "No." no. Well, he paused. Like, That's actually an interesting point because I re he go the lady goes, "Are there any food allergies?" And he goes, and it's like he thought, "Should I say?" Should I lie? Yeah. And then he goes, "Well." I can't have, and I told her, I go, no allergies. Because if you say allergy, it like restricts the food for the table. I was like, he's oh, not allergic no. to anything. I did it for him. And he was like, yeah, I just don't eat. And then she goes, oh, tell, okay, I'll tell the chef. I go, tell the chef there's no allergies. There are no allergies here. Just he's not going to go into anaphylactic no, shock. No, I run. And she's like, she, he's, she's like, oh, okay. He goes, yeah, I just, you know, I, it doesn't agree with me you know, like, so but here's the deal man like don't you feel like there's you you especially of all people eat a lot of things that don't agree with you <laughs> and then you just take the you pay the bill yeah in the toilet and i yeah. hear it all the time and you're like yeah fucking sugar yeah, yeah. eggs yeah. whatever but you don't i and what i admire about you is that you push through these things all the time I just, we all do i and i try push look, through i it took me a long time i do avoid Things when, you know, sometimes I'll be like, I'll look at it and I'll go, oh, I'm not going to eat that because I know it's going to upset me. Yeah. He was so adamant. Such a fucking At every meal. And he was like, Lord. and what do you prepare that with? Oh, my God. Do you use Stop. oils or <laughs> butter? <laughs> and then they would, and he's like, oh, I can't <laughs> also have that. He eats like a toddler. He eats toddler foods. Toddler uh -huh. foods don't have flavors in them either. No hey. spice. And I go, why? He's like, well, I used to take a medicine that allows me to eat these things, but I get indigestion. indigestion. I'm like, shut the fuck up. My knees hurt. My knees are always hurting. But don't, but don't you feel like, like, here's the deal, man. Uh -huh. I, I, let me tell you something. When I first started eating Korean food in Los Angeles, yeah. I would eat the hot ass soup. I would eat the bibimbap. I would eat all, and I would get flaming hot diarrhea about an hour later. Okay, but you know what I did? What? I kept on eating it. Yeah. And eventually my body got used to the spices and the heat. And now you can I'm just fine. go for it. Yeah. I did. So you just have to push past the discomfort. Yeah. If you enjoy the taste, which I assume most people like. Yeah. Stop being a fucking pussy. Yeah, he's just uh, Wait, man. but talk talk about the my favorite was playing with our kids. That was the best. <laughs> that was the absolute best. He came over. <laughs> 
to the house. And our boys, we have this, li- it's small. It's a pretty small enclosed trampoline. Yes. For like, you can, I don't know, it all can go on it, but it's not, it, it's not like one of those big ones. It's a little one in the backyard. And, you know, it has like the nets around it. And it's for kids, really. But an adult can go on it with a couple kids, let's say. So I get on there <laughs> and they're like, jump, jump high, dude. Come on. And they're, you know, doing their normal, come on, dad, don't be yeah. a shit. And yeah. they, so yeah. jumping, <laughs> having fun. And then I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. And then they call him. They're like, come on, Ira. And so <laughs> he's like, okay. And he's more like a little more cautious. So there's a zipper on the side. <laughs> so you open the zipper and he crawl. You have to crawl in, right? Because it's like, it's enclosed. And as he's crawling in, <laughs> he's, he's on all fours immediately. <laughs> The two of them jump on him. Ellis puts his, him in a headlock and Julian starts kicking him. And they're just like kicking, kicking. This is shit I'm all used to. This is every day yeah, for me. Boys. And I, I hear him. He's like, hey, hey, guys. And they're like, come on. And they start like kicking and kicking. And, and then Ellis is like, I'll choke you out. I'll choke you. I can hurt you. And like you see him go from one to 10 panic. He's like, hey, hey, guys, stop, stop. And I was like laughing. I was like, this is boys, dude. This is what little boys are like. He's like, I don't like, he starts like, like trying to push them off. And they're like, I'll choke you out. <laughs> so he fully panicked. I know. I like that. And panic. he stood up and he was like, what was that? And I was like, that's every day. Every, every day they day. do that. Yeah. I love it. Our little, our youngest, he's, he's four. The other night we had uh, a guest over and he goes, he goes, Good night, and don't forget to eat shit. And I was like, hey. I go, that's not how you say good night to somebody. He's like, why? You just eat shit every night. Eat and I was shit. like, why don't you talk? Yeah, that's a little so dude. Funny. And we had um, a couple over with their teenage son, yeah. and they were like, good night, shit nager. They called yeah, him a poop nager. Shit nager. Poop nager. Like, don't forget to eat shit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> They're such savages, <laughs> I They're know. such savages, but so much fun. I think our boys are a litmus test for like, can you handle life or not? Like you come over, they'll jump on you, they'll fuck with you. And if you put them in their spot and you, you push back on them and you alpha them, yeah. then they respect you. But if you don't. Their teenage they boy, it was so sweet. Yeah. And I was like watching him deal with Ellis because Ellis was like, I def- I'm definitely stronger than you. <laughs> this kid is like four times his size and he yeah. was like oh he was just like sweet and Ellis would like grab him and he'd be like like pull on him yeah. as hard as he could and he goes see I can break you <laughs> I was like you're so lucky this is a well adjusted sweet teenager kid, yeah. and not, who's like I'll fucking kill this kid like yeah so nice to him he was like I was definitely stronger than him dad and I was like yeah no of definitely course. Yeah, you're definitely stronger than him mm-hmm. but I like that our boys are tough like that I I like it because then they're going to eat all these other pussies alive that are mm. training the boyness out of the I boys. I feel like, I like that. everything was cool until you spoke. Yeah. Right then. I think okay. that's an unhealthy response. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't even know. But yeah, that's cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> everything was cool <laughs> until you're like, our pussy, they'll eat these pussies alive. Like, yeah. No, they're just yeah. little boys oh. having fun. That's really what's going on. Yeah. And don't forget to eat shit tonight. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Make them strong. But you did have you did have this. You were fascinated with watching the visiting teenage boy eat. You're like, this is awesome. Man, there's this, so it is too. I remember now too. Oh, it's fantastic. So Zolo is the youngest member, baby Zolo yeah. of our tribe, yeah. and I love watching him eat. He just houses food. But well, how old are you now? You're 21. 23. Too old. 23. Now, he's, oh, he's it's, now it's time for you to slow it old down. Old man. But but this kid was uh, 14 years old, and yeah. I loved watching him just house plates of food. And, and we would go out, and last night I was like, he gets his own pizza, the teenager, just because I wanted to see how far. And we got him like a deep dish pepperoni. He had like five slices. And he's Yo. like skin and bones. Yeah. You know, body's still growing. Not an ounce of fat. No fat. They're yeah. just it's growth. Up, up, up. Yeah. yeah, like they eat and their cells divide in the exact same Literally moment. Literally watching, You're like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Like a, like a specimen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's rad. Yeah. It's rad because like I can't, you can't do that anymore yeah. as, as a middle-aged person. You, but you can, but then you go to visit this doctor. He's like, <laughs> the thing he is, you're now. a pig right now. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta, gotta stop. You gotta have your surgery. <laughs> 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 Why are you so fat? Why are you so fat? You, you think you're going to waste away? 
Yeah. That was great. He's like, do you look like somebody? Wait, wait, wait. Because you, you actually don't need to eat. You, you need to drink water, but you don't need to eat for a long time. You don't need but, to eat that much food. But remember when you were a teenager and you would come home from school and that would be like the first dinner. Like I would come home from school, make some steakum. Do you remember steakum? Yeah. That frozen piece of shit steak and then you put it in the microwave. That you was your know. thing. You didn't have steakum. No way in your house. No, your mom cooked steakums. for you. No. Yeah. You're not as no, garbage we had as I am. We had snacks, but, but we I would come home, them. eat a steak, um, eat a Mama Celeste fucking whole pizza, and then two hours later, you would have like proper dinner with your family. Remember doing that shit? Yeah, of course. And we you always could have do snacks. that. Yeah. Like you had two dinners a night as a teenager, and it was yeah. totally fine. And I then would, for lunch, I would have like a Frito pie. I would have Jesus Christ, like a fucking sixteen ounce steak. Yeah. You know, baked potato. And then my dad would be like, you get enough to eat? I was like, I don't know. He's like, you want another steak? I was like, okay. I yeah. just have like another steak. Just wolf yeah. it down. Yeah. And you can eat that way until about, I think 26 maybe is when I was like, oh, I'm gaining. No, maybe around Zolo's age. Yeah. I mean, and that's why about the time where I was eating McDonald's it every day. It shifts at a different age for different people though. 22 is when I was eating McDonald's once a day and I was getting weight for yeah. the first time. And I was like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And if you don't shift out of that way of eating, you become very fat. You turn into the doctor now patient. Yeah. 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 So you got to get out of that. There you go. Now you know. Crazy. But I love watching teenage boys eat. My God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you think. Do you look there. like you're malnourished? <laughs> 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 I want that to be playing yeah. in our kitchen whenever we want to overeat. Do yeah. it again. I like that. Yeah. Do you look like that? That's not dog food. That's very good food. <laughs> you yeah. fat so. Yeah. You're not going to fade away. <laughs> <laughs> Eating the food that belongs to the next four years. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude. That's, a, that's a tough that's one. That's rough. He He's said. Eating the food that belongs to the next four, four years. years. Damn. Yeah. Dude. All right. Well, look. Let's um, uh, let's take a quick break. I have to make peachy. Me too. And um, we'll be back in a moment with our guests. So happy to welcome oh. our guests. You know them from one of my absolute favorite podcasts in the world. It's called Are You Garbage? It's Kevin Ryan and H Foley. Give it up, oh. Oh. guys. And thank you. Let me tell you. Let me remind you right now to buy tickets to the Stay Trashy tour right now at areyougarbage.com. So get your tickets. Um, I would love to see this show live. You absolutely have no. I'm not exaggerating. Literally one of my favorite podcasts. Oh, Thanks, man. buddy. It thank is, you. It's a blast to be a guest. I would do it again in a heartbeat, just so you know. Whenever. Yeah. And um, I love. I mean, I I love the premise of it. How did? For people that don't know, sure. you have guests on. You usually have comedians, sometimes actors. I don't yeah. know if you We're starting to branch out a little branch bit. Branch out a little bit. But everybody has a past. Everybody has sure. how they grew up. And the premise, essentially, <laughs> of the podcast is you get to know someone's background. Are you trashy or classy? Sure, is, sure. Right? yeah, exactly. And it's a series. Like, you know, you guys have questions. There's people tell stories. And, and you jump in. They tell stories. Or they jump in with something else. But you get to know somebody, and mm -hmm. it's such a fascinating because you kind of know what you're. That's what I love about it. I know what I'm getting. I know what the show's uh -huh. about, and then you guys are have great chemistry together. Thank you. But you basically find out did somebody grow up like this? <laughs> Trash or, hound. You know, uh -huh. like a like a real like human being, like, like a, a Mr. Decent, Segura. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but how did how did you even? Because it's it's a brilliant premise for Thank you. How did you come up with it? How did it start? So Kippy and I have been uh, we've been friends since we both started comedy uh, in Philly, and uh, we became fast friends. He can be a real trash town, by really? the way. Oh. Some real scumbags. How dare you, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is just like animals. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I've never seen fucking human beings. Like a lot of people <laughs> wore sweatpants at five o'clock. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's still one of the cities where you can just get beat up within like thirty seconds. Yeah. yeah. You're just like you got to keep your head on a swivel. Anytime still. you bad. hear about unprovoked violence, and it's, you're like, yeah, that checks. If it's in Philly, you're like, that checks yeah, out. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. They did something. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, sure. If you don't say thank you to somebody holding the door for you walking into a Wawa that's, that's grounds to get popped in the face oh sure <laughs> you yell you're you welcome yeah. and if they don't say thank you yeah, yeah. then, you're, then it's, yeah. it's on site yeah hey I fuckhead love it. yeah <laughs> But we both grew up uh, in the suburbs of Philadelphia. I grew up in Montgomery County. He grew up in Bucks County. Uh, he had a little more cash than I did growing up. So when we started doing road shows together and stuff like that, we'd be in the car, and it would be, did you do this for when like you were a kid? like six hours at a time. Yeah. Oh, from like so central Pennsylvania. Yeah. Like get, kind of like getting to know each other. Yeah. 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 And we would just shit on each other. Yeah. Did you have meatloaf? With, you know, did you drink meat, have meatloaf for dinner? Did you drink milk with pizza? Did you have milk <laughs> that, was the, that was the first one. I'm like, were you one of those? Milk with pizza. 
I'm like, were you one of those weird kids that drank milk and spaghetti? He's like, yeah. Uh, I was, I did that too. was the first question. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did too. Yeah. Carpet in the bathroom. Because it tells like you that. so much. Like it's so it actually is so sure. informative. And it's mm. like when you meet people as comics, you know, we all have a certain there's something that's very similar about all of us. We all have a thing that's like, we all need that approval. We all want to be accepted. We all want to be told we're, we want you, I want to make you laugh. You want to make, like, we all have that. Of course. But then it's like, the differences in like, like, how did you become this broken person? Yes. Yeah. Is really yeah. the story. Really find it out. If yeah. you ask somebody, did you have carpet in your bathroom oh when you were God. a kid? <laughs> that tells you so many things Everything about their parents. Yeah. <laughs> so now I know what your parents are like. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. now I know you were going on vacation with other members of your family and all staying in the same room. And yeah. then you probably had an old fridge in your garage, the garage fridge. That was a big one. <laughs> have, a big you, one. have you had these surprise... <laughs> Because I've I've met people before, like I just met somebody who was so down to earth, and they weren't just oh grew up wealthy. Mm -hmm. This person grew up in one of the rare like another tier of oh like the oh my god the, crazy the, the, the b word yeah, yeah yeah, and sometimes people like that um, they reek of that, and sometimes they're so so low key you're like. Holy shit. Have you had someone on yet where you're like, oh, wow, you grew up in like the the upper echelon of society? Not uh, really. We had, oh, no, the one guy, a buddy of ours, Francis Ells, he was the uh, bar stool guy. You know Francis, uh -huh. right? He grew up with money, went to Princeton or yeah. Harvard. Harvard. And uh, he's very like, where do you summer? That kind of stuff. Plays what? the piano. Yeah. yeah. He like Doc looks Siders. down at snowboarders because he's a skier. Oh wow! He only okay. goes to mountains. Oh, that's cool. He was like, "There's still four mountains that don't allow snowboards in the in the country. That's where I go." So it's like, yeah, he we have him, and he comes up. We ask him questions. He's like, "The fuck are you guys talking about?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was at a a stadium, and I met this person, and later on, the, the person who I was kind of who's introduced me to him, there was like, "You know that he owns the stadium?" And I was like, "He owns the stadium," <laughs> and. And then they're like, he owns a bunch of them. I go, he owns stadiums? Jesus. And they're like, yeah. He also, And then he, he listed like three well-known companies. He's like, he's the majority holder. And I was like, oh my God. Damn. And you just, and I met his kids and his kids were like super like, oh my God, it's so cool to meet you. And like, you know, just like nice. Mm -hmm. And that's like, that's when somebody is that level. They're not, they have lost all the, they're not trying to prove anything. Sure. That's you know? real class though. That's, when that's they're real okay. class. But just because you have money doesn't mean that you're going to be classy. True. Because you that's could be right. the other side. If yes. you're real superficial, if you don't yes. tip, if you treat yes. people like shit, yes. then you're trash. You yes. know what? Because it's interesting. I've grown up trash. And then now we're not, I'm not garbage anymore. Mm -hmm. But well, that's still up for debate. Well, we'll they'll there. make the decision <laughs> yeah. on that. I mean, that's, well, we just, we, that's a lofty statement, all right? You we just saw you send this, the messenger to the store. <laughs> this is, Run to the store, grab me a hat paste. This is, now. The, this is the jury. You don't decide. They yeah. decide. Yeah. But what's interesting is that you're right, because now I've, I've known, quote, garbage people and I've known rich people. They're supposed to be classy. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I've discovered is that rich and poor people. Both have family members in prison. Sure. Or, yes. Just for different crimes. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both do drugs. Uh huh. Yeah. But just different, different kind levels. Of drugs. Rich yeah. people get better drugs. A hundred percent. And also, like, their marriages are fucked up too, and oh, their yeah. kids fucking hate them. So it's like, same shit, different toilet. You and just have are, a better toilet. There are. I know a, a few people that are grew up with, I mean, r like astonishing poverty, mm -hmm. who are so polite and well mannered and well groomed. In other words. Like they're classy people, yeah, but they grew up with nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. We've learned it. Money doesn't indicate it. Yes, and like if you do get money, because like my family grew up poor, like my mom, my parents did, and then my dad was like, you know, kind of the dirtbag contractor with like would get some money and then blow it. They <laughs> yeah. would come repo the car and then like, you know what I mean? Just like that kind of shit. Yeah. So it's like you can only you can only you can't fully ever shake your past. You either. can't. It's Never. like and like I'll be a little bit more classy than my parents were then right. my kids will be hopefully a little bit more sure but at some point like you can't just jump generations no. so what is class is it t treating people with respect yeah but it's more like choices right like anything you do All like choices. you have a choice not to put carpet in your bathroom right. you have that choice <laughs> sure. but for some fucking reason dirtbags make that choice it's, it's comfy when you get out of the shower. <laughs> no, it's gotta smell I, so bad i laugh so hard because i, I you know i do so many, you forget moments, but I was like scrolling and it was when I was on 
your podcast. And it was just mm-hmm. a little clip, and you go, "Did you collect anything Chinese stars?" Because <laughs> that is such a yeah, trashy so kid sure, thing. Huh? Sure, <laughs> sure. nunchucks or something. Yeah. 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 Chinese stars are all right. Loved, yeah. Especially when we were kids, yeah. man. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. The Throw ones them with the suction. Right? Yeah. Wow. We're talking about the real ones. The real ones. You get them at like a flea market or something. I remember at a mart. I remember that I also told you that I did. She's taking the SAT. Oh, I know. But I remember that I I also told you that I did Taekwondo. Yeah. And, uh, in a strip mall. In a strip mall. <laughs> yeah. But I forgot to tell you that I didn't tell you the name of my uh, instructor. It was it was Master Hong Kong Kim. That was his name. He's an Italian guy, <laughs> too. That was the craziest yeah. part. That was his name, dude. Uh, his <laughs> real name was Vinny Shiverini. <laughs> Hong Kong Kim, look at yeah, That was so amazing. But Man, a, that a, guy wears the gi to the bar. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. oh, yeah. A swap meet. Swap. If yeah, you did yeah. your school clothing shopping at a swap meet, which sure. I did with my dad, mm-hmm. that's garbage. And do you remember, dude, karate shoes? No. Or karate Maybe that was just a West shoes. thing. Go, remember, okay, Google them. There were like shitty cotton, and then the sole was just hard plastic. Maybe this was just a West Coast thing. Like kung oh, fu I shoes, do but they were those. white. They yeah. were. Like you were wearing those to school as like yes. fashionable. Yes. Oh, we had kids wear wrestling sneaks. That was pretty. Cool. That's that was pretty. pretty, that's pretty yeah. Yeah. That kid got hit yeah. at home for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That, kid, that kid had a rough childhood. <laughs> <laughs> He's rocking wrestling shoes to school. Wearing boxing gloves. Wait, yeah. so you guys are having the, uh, back to your so you're you're doing gigs and you're having these long drives. So you're having yeah. conversations, getting to know each other. Yeah. And then do you kind of go, we should do this in a, as a pod? Do you no, figure it out? No, no. We 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 had three two podcasts before before our you garbage oh. um this is our third and Ari, <laughs> Ari was the first one to be like only these two fucking idiots would try a third podcast after it didn't work together wow. that's yeah. okay that's oh wait, awesome, what were the though. first two uh, was, uh we did a show called the center city comedy show which was an open mic that uh we had when we were in philly okay and it was a, there was a larger group of us and then we did we started doing hard feelings which was just me and him sitting in a car bitching at each other. Okay. Which now we do on the Patreon. Okay. Which which everybody loves, which is which is funny. Shout out to the greatest website of all time. Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Um, but yeah. we started to do this more and more back and forth with each other, just shitting on each other. And then <laughs> Um, Patreon got that steal on the wrist is what Woo! I'm thinking. Hey, you wear your nice watch for nice. Mr. Segura? Yeah, it's broken. It doesn't work. It's all right. Looks good. <laughs> Looks good. I thought you might have picked up on it. I don't want to lie. <laughs> um, and then towards the end of doing the Center City Comedy, uh, we, we, you know, we had been doing it so much. And, we, you know, we we're just like, let's play this on the podcast with, with you know, the other the other hosts. So I was like, everybody go home and look in your fridge, see what kind of mayonnaise you have, what kind of shampoo, see what kind of shampoo's soap, upstairs, what <laughs> kind of soap, kind of stuff. and like root around your parents' house, because yeah. I think it was right after <laughs> Labor Day, so everybody was home. Everybody went home to see their families. Oh and we came God. back and we played the game and we just had so much fun with it. And then we did it a couple more times on the podcast. And then right before the pandemic, uh, <laughs> we met, we saw each other at uh, uh, New York Comedy Club in New York. And we were like, you know, maybe we should make this a show. podcast. And then we started it right before, right before uh, the world shut down. I still wow. think too, because when you know, now I think there's like every year there's like another half a million podcasts it's to crazy. start. That the big thing that when it, when they when we like when we started, it's like now eleven years ago. Crazy. You could be, you could go like, I don't know, it's just us shooting the shit, right? Sure. I think you have to target something specific uh-huh. yeah. to stand because if you're just like it's just me and my buddy and we talk shit, no one like, gives a fuck about that. But if yeah. you actually have an actual, it's it's a a focus on yeah. it's yeah. A, it's about a specific thing. Those are the ones that seem to be able to to stand out and pop now. Yeah, and that's what you've done with this show. Yeah, it's that's like that's kind of what we that's kind of was our our intent behind it is to have a little something to it and to try to get the questions and find out about people that you normally wouldn't find out. Yes, about. that's what we've heard. It's people are like I've. I had I didn't think of that story for twenty years. Yeah, like, and we used to say you see it click in their eyes. They like because if you go on, you people go on a podcast like we play the hits of like, hey, this sure. story, this that. Let me get into this. Well, the questions though, because the the thing is like people it's ask minutia. you, it's like very people very ask you like specific. where are you so from, yeah. Yeah. and you go, I'm from here, and like you know. Where, you know, did you go to college? But like, people don't ask you, like, did you use cook with margarine? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you start <laughs> to go, the like, what? Yeah. And then that, but the thing is, yeah, like, I was, I was it doesn't family. just bring up the answer, it triggers other things. Of Your course. memory starts to kind of. Oh. Sorry, I had a real <laughs> trashy one. This might just be. So, have you, I don't know if you guys have also branched off into Euro trash because my family is Eastern European sure. garbage. Trash. And here's a very foreigner trash thing Royal Dansk. Cookie tins. And that we have one on the table one of on the, ours. On the table. Oh my 
god! Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. It's usually okay. a sewing kit in most houses. Yeah, 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 yeah your yeah, abuelita yeah. would use that. But then in, as a teenager, I would put my drugs and my cigarettes sure, and razor blades. Yeah, yeah, in there. Sure. yeah that's razor cool. blades. We're later. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, it's a real LA thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay, here's the big one. I got to ask you. Uh-huh. So, would you say that you both grew up middle class and or lower middle class, like in that? Or? I was probably middle. <laughs> at baseline, yeah. middle, yeah. and then there was years of upper middle. I don't know what that line sure. is, but okay. like we had we had a nice house and sure. cars and you know stuff like and that. And you lower middle, and then uh, and the as the ninety at the late nineties we started to go middle. Okay, I would say so. <sighs> This Did was the argument guys. back and forth. Yeah, sure. Because he th- he's, he's got a little bit of upper middle class money, yeah. so he used to shit on me like I'm a dirtbag. Yeah. <laughs> but also, my family didn't know how to spend the money. They were, right. they got, they were like lottery winners. Sure. You know what I mean? Just they like, were oh, like, we got some money. This is the greatest year. Yeah. And then the tax guy's like, well, like, yeah. his family, you haven't called us yet. His family would go down to shore for like a couple of weeks. We'd go down for a few days and stay in a hotel. Sure. Yeah. I got you. Now, on the bay. did you, when growing up, use a washcloth? Uh... No, not really. No, there was one in the house. Yeah, I didn't really use there was it. One Did in the you house. use one in the? Yeah, we had washcloths. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we had washcloths. Yeah, yeah. Your Honor, okay. this case is we've, closed. Yeah, we've been we've been pretty we've been on this for years actually, sure. but it, it just came back into the uh, conversation. Yeah, yeah, the zeitgeist is that um, I never even mm-hmm. heard really? or seen anybody be like, "Here's a washcloth for the shower." I'd never seen it. Until I was in college, and some of my poorer friends, I befriended them. They would go <laughs> like charity work. Yeah, I they'd be like, you know, I like crash at their house, and they'd be giving me this little towel. I go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and they're like, it's a washcloth. And I was like, for what? And they're like, for the shower. And I was like, you can keep that. Yeah. And then so we've been talking about what it were more. you using as a kid? Just hands and, and soap. Yeah. That's, all, that's all. Really? I'd never even heard of this. You can't and scrub the, with that though. But here's the thing that I've been finding. I'm finding. That there is a direct a socioeconomic point. correlation. For sure. People who grew up middle class, lower middle class, almost always use them. Almost everybody that I've spoken to that grew up upper class, they're like, never use that. Never it's funny because I just started getting back into them, to be honest. <gasps> well, yeah, but now you're yeah. getting loofahs and shit. No, I, j- I just, I, I, I went through a loofah Sandpaper. stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? The little, the little scrunchy yeah. balls. They're great. Anyway, when those I, things hit, those I suggest good. adding yeah. washcloth. To the, uh, Did you use a washcloth? Uh, oh yes, and yeah. I I feel like you're gonna find a direct correlation to like, someone's upbringing. Yes, with that, I re- I think it's a big reveal. Were you a washcloth family? Fuck no. 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 Oh. It's not. I don't know. Well, hmm. I mean, we we were trash, but we weren't that bad. I feel like I thought that was <laughs> nice. No. We said that bit. Yeah. That's where the line I, is. You know, but you know why I think it's disgusting is the reusing element of that's the That's what I don't like. I don't oh, we had one washcloth for the whole family. <laughs> Dude, I mean, there yeah. was other ones. You would there get was it, other it's ones. It's already wet. And but you're that like, was just that. in the cycle of the towels. Yeah. And when the towels got washed, yeah. then the washcloth it's got disgusting. washed. Sure. Yeah. Well, people I ask so. me, they're like, well, what did you do? Like, did you guys share a bar of soap? I'm like, yeah. And I put it in my ass and then my sister would put it on her face. I don't give a shit. Self cleansing, it's soap. Yeah, it's soap. Yeah. No, yeah. we didn't do that. What kind of soap were you using? Irish Spring growing yeah. up. That's still trash, love it. right? I still, yeah, I'll still use Are it. Are you looking down on washcloth people? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the trashiest one. You got a lot of nerve. It's the trashiest. What about, oh, 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 toothpaste? The garbagest, I think, is Aquafresh. That's oh. what I used growing up. But you always try to make that though. swirl, didn't you? <laughs> try to get that swirl going. <laughs> Woo! That was yeah. all right. What's, what's the garbagest? Toothpaste. Well, it wasn't Aquafresh because that was fancy in my house. My yeah. mom wasn't That's paying. There was a lot of marketing colors. behind it. Yeah. When that hit the scene, you were like, "What I'm <laughs> using?" <scene. laughs> the trashiest overall. Yeah. But I overall. thought it was fucking fantastic, but couldn't have been good for you. Was something called Close Up. Do you remember Close Up? Oh, oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. they had yeah. it was their like marketing. Teeth their marketing red. was about yeah. kissing. <laughs> yeah. That was the whole yeah. marketing for Close Up. Close Up was just always it was always couples kissing. That makes sense. Yeah, we had that. I was using that as a kid. You're like, I'm going to get laid. Yeah. yeah. Close up. Yeah. That eight-year-old. Yeah. Mom, yeah. let me get that hairspray. Uh, what about... AIM is really bad. I think it's called AIM. AIM is, is bad. AIM is a tough that, one. And then like the shampoo, what is it, like VO5 or whatever? Oh, I, lo- I still like VO5. What? And I, used, <laughs> yeah, I still use Tresemme conditioner La La. and yeah, shampoo. Yeah, yeah. That shit's that like $3, classy. dude. That was it's, like... I think uh, it's Tresemme. Tres- tre- Tresemme. <laughs> it's not Mexican. <laughs> I think Tresemme. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tresemme. Dude, I grew up in LA. It's Tresemme, homie. Shit. 
<laughs> tortilla so flavored funny. shampoo. I, I told you, man. Yeah. 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 Garbage. The garbage. The gold car's uh, car going to be yeah. like through the roof. On you ever swab strawberry? Fuck yeah, dog. Oh. I had that too. That smelled so good. And man. white rain. White, white rain is the ultimate to me of I don't know what garbage. Cologne? Oh, cologne? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, of course. Your car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the We were a Stetson house. Trying to get laid at the eighth grade dance, dude. <laughs> my dad was a, my step dad Eighth was a grade cowboy. Dracar, you were like, I'm fucking in. Dracar, <laughs> obsession. I was big on CK1. CK1. Polo yeah. sport was big. Any yeah, pol- polo, polo was nice. Banging. But I would argue that. Um, What's the red one that I liked? The Bear Glove? Old Bear Spice? Love. Old Spice? Isn't of that course. kind of an OG garbage? That yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. But Which, man, when but your dad had, had a little bit of that on. on. Oh, Old Spice had so this good. really... Brute, <laughs> Brute was bad. My dad yeah. was a Brute guy. That was garbage, My stepdad though. was yeah. Stetson. It was a tough household. Old Spice. Like, Brute was a real Brute. fucking... You buy that at Rite Aid and shit. It's not even fucking... Old Spice had a really um like fascinating... Rebranding, they did. It's good. Where they was With like, you're like, stuff. that's it was trashy. Grand, it was like your dad's stuff, and then and it's now like, it's like cool, kids use funny. It, yeah. Well, because you use the bear love as as a joke. Yeah. Because my friend sent it to you, and I love it on you. It yeah. smells really good. Yeah, yeah, they did. They I did. use women's now. Women. Really? I like women's razors. Women's Those are the women's best. Deodorant. It's like a women's baby powder base. If you get which disposable one? raiders, uh, get women's. Secret. So much yeah. better. Yeah. Right. Dove. Wait, hold on. Which they're f- curved a little bit. And they also have like the natural. They have the natural. Like uh, a women's razor, a disposable <laughs> razor has the natural, like, they put that cream the in softy it. Softy yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's so much nicer so much on better. your skin. Soft it up a little bit. Wait, hold on. You were saying that you use women's deodorant. So uh-huh. you use Secret. Which flavor of Secret? It's not a flavor, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is to <disappear. laughs> me. I like having some of the original after dinner. Uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe powder fresh. Yeah, like the standard one, that or the Dove. Dove makes Dove a good one. Dove yeah. cucumber. Yeah. slaps. That's what I'm Women's today. deodorant is yeah, so much too. stronger than men's. It's crazy. Because we sweat, we're more, it's we're nuts. more hormonal. I think. It's like putting spackle under there. I yeah. know it's so um, good. Where do you think this guy would go? That's like, my, that's, that's, that's my, my jam. That's my OG shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dove is fantastic. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah, where do you favorite. think this guy would go um, for? Justin, I really like your videos, and I hope you continue to do them um, and me being blind please I'd appreciate you um, doing them to where I can hear and you know I'd like you to turn the recorder on when you go into the bathroom and uh, let me hear you undo your belt pull your pants down set the toilet seat down and sit down and do a good stream of pee in the water and a good <laughs> shit um, and for me since I can't see if you could describe what what it looks like in the toilet <laughs> Guy, okay, buddy, yours. <laughs> <laughs> that's my friend Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> that's tough. You can't yeah. fetish shame though. That's his prerogative. No, that's, that's what, what he likes. Mean. Yeah, I mean, he and it, it's not the only thing he likes. You know, <laughs> just a fun thing. And, um, you know, you just keep the recorder on from the begin- beginning to the end when you flush the toilet. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, no, okay, thanks. Where was I? Did you happen to catch Blue Bloods last night? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's fantastic. He's got a oh, whole Bob series of these, and he you know, he tells people like he'll my go, name is Bob. Um, I have um viewed your uh explosive diarrhea video, <laughs> just curious to know where that was at. Uh, <laughs> I am a black person. And it sounded my, like a stadium bathroom. My computer has speech on it so that it reads text to me. So anytime I get emails and anytime I go to a web page and, you know, no, anything we, that we has get to it. do with you text, know where you're at. text yeah. window eyes He's thorough. I'll give him that. But I love that he, he, he gives out all his information. He's like, please reach out. And then he goes... Um, when he signs off, he's like, "Interested to know where you live? Just trying to make friends. I've seen a lot of videos on here, shit videos. Um, <laughs> some are good, and you know, I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a lot that is not good quality, or mm. you know, there's I a lot of those. talking in the background, <laughs> laughing, whatnot, and you can't hear anything. And I like mm. the ones where you can hear stuff. And I'm just curious to know what <laughs> prompts people to do the things that they do. Sure. I'm also into uh, aviation videos. I like <laughs> yeah. you know, they they go hand in hand. Well around, yeah. 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 So. So. I like getting my face shit on and model trains. <laughs> <laughs> but what's interesting is he goes deep. <laughs> He goes deep. It's not enough to just hear the video. I want to know what you ate, where you shit, what goes into it, who you are as a person. I'm looking for friends. Mm-hmm. Like it's so bizarre because usually in sexual fetish, it's depersonalized, but he really takes it to a new level. I could blow this guy's mind. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. I could blow yeah. his mind. <laughs> I got what you need, brother. <laughs> I got what you need. I'll tell you the whole story. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 That's all right. <laughs> you might scare him straight, dude. <laughs> After that, you're like, you know what? Never mind. Missionary with the lights off. It's what you like, huh? It's what you want. Do you have it's like when you were a kid and you had to smoke the whole pack of cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're gonna sit there and listen to a whole week of dumps. <laughs> He's like, uh, this guy turned my whole thing yeah. off. Blow his you might re- give him a hard reset, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> he can see again after I get done with him. <sighs> what was I thinking? Jeez. <laughs> <sighs> Do you wanna oh, um fuck, dude. So Christina <laughs> You just learned yeah. that there's a difference between cheetahs and leopards. Yeah. I think well, it might be fun yeah. for everyone to see if, if they can. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I might not be great at this. Yeah, yeah I'm that's an even idiot. better. Yeah. Here's the thing I didn't know. I'm very dumb. I'm very dumb too. I, I'm dumb on like regular things like people should know. Mm-hmm. Did you know what a Lev- what's it called? A Livono? Yeah. Do you know what a Livono is? A Livono. Is she saying it right? Am I saying it right? I did say Tresemme. And you're like, <laughs> <Trace-me>. Lenovo? <laughs> huh? A Lenovo? Oh, a Lenovo. A Lenovo. Is it? Is it A? It's like A. Can you use it in a, a sentence? Lenovo. No. It's not a Lenovo. Yes. yes. Oh, it's one word. No, no, no. You're you're right. It's A. A singular Lenovo. Yeah. What is what a singular Lenovo is? Isn't it a computer you can, brand? Okay. Yeah. That's really. Coming. It's a very he cheap doesn't computer know. Brand. You don't know. No. He hasn't had a computer in twenty I years. I thought it was a way. South Korean car company. <laughs> 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 They got that new SUV coming up. Yeah, this year, no, <laughs> them and Kia—they're always going ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got a Kia. Yeah. Okay, so on the last episode, I revealed <laughs> that I'm not sure I truly know the difference between cheetahs and leopards. Okay. So and all I would say is that don't yell it out. Sure. Let sure. Her, let her I already forgot the difference. Okay. Don't I've, peek over. I've here. already forgotten. I don't right. fucking know. Let's see if you can spot. Just see me if you can. Uh, if you what can am tell. I looking for? A cheetah? Yeah, just tell me. I it's, forget. Well, do you think Hold it's on. a cheetah or a leopard? Is basically. I think that's a cheetah. Okay. Because I learned they're faster and the spots are different. The leopard's got the circle around the around the dot. That's a leopard. Okay. Wait, am I retarded? Just go for that it. That should be your next podcast. Am I retarded? <laughs> That's you available have, on Patreon. You could have people like me on. Like, what's the difference between a cheetah and a leopard? Wait, are you sure or unsure now? Well, I'm unsure because that thing looks super fast. Well, there, there's not like a slow one. They're all fast. <laughs> yeah. No, but we learned... We learned that one of them was super fast That's because of their their hind hips. Jeez. Do you, you know, know what the it cheetahs is? were? That I, was like their selling point. As don't a care. Kid. Don't. I don't, here's the thing. Just growing up, I, did, I just didn't care, and now I care. And I'm stashing away razor blades. Yeah. I so what's up. your I'm vote on about this? animals? What is this? Hold on. It's pretty fast. Okay, I think he looks really fast. And I'm only shit. That's a leopard. Okay. That's a cheetah because of the because look at those haunches. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a good one. That one's tough, but it's still got a meaty hind quarter. Yeah. So? And the face is dope. I'm going to go cheetah. Okay. Mm, that's a leopard. Mm, that's your mom. <laughs> shit. I was all fucking hard and shit. <laughs> Look at, like, some... Some of them spots are normal, some are not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, us leopard. Okay. Do you guys, did you agree? Did you disagree? I think I agreed. I th- okay. In my head, I think she had it. Yeah. I think she got most of them. Okay. Maybe one she missed. <laughs> okay, can I tell you? Yeah. You got them all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I almost panicked. Okay, I'm not yeah. s- totally R worded. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, good job. Blit. Yeah. Blit. You did a really good job. Yeah. We're all proud of you. I didn't know that the, the black leopards or the panther had those spots. You just can't really see them that well. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's pretty Wait. sick when you look at them up close. They actually have. They have. They have the 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 spots, but you just. Old oh, black leopards have yeah. spots. Look at that! How sick is that? Oh wow! That Shit! Oh, nah, that thing will get you. Oh, that, that thing, thing will. No, get the you. funny thing is, black leopards you can approach. You can go up to them. You can pet their heads and everything. Stop! They, no, I'm serious. I don't. No, I wouldn't recommend not. that. If you ever <laughs> see one, not. you can go. You can go feed it like this. You get like a squirrel. You just go like. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's feeding squirrels? Yeah. yeah, we feed them sometimes. We feed know. them. Yeah, we're used to New York City squirrels, which are like yeah. aggressive. Yeah. 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 You can't. You can't. They'll they'll steal your wallet. Like, <laughs> can't fucking. <laughs> yeah, they don't play. Yeah. 
Where does um, French bread pizza rank? Stouffer's? Yeah. One of my favorite things in that the world. That was one of the... But it's trashy. Yeah. So trashy. That it was... is the classier... Yes. One of the classier frozen pizza options, though. What's the as garbage? As a dirtbag is... kid, as, yeah. as a dirtbag kid... French bread pizza was just yeah. a little it's out of reach. You might as well have been in yeah. Paris. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but but okay. So like the shittiest of all the frozen pizzas is I'm gonna go Mama Celeste. That's up there. That's up there. Because the cheese was not even cheese. It was yeah. just plastic. And then the worst are the pe- the balls of meat that yeah. were on them on the Supreme. Any like those really small individual ones? <laughs> they sell at the dollar store. That's not that's not great. We were an Elio's family. Yeah. That's how what? we rolled. Yeah. East Coast West Coast very different. I don't even think I had that brand. Whoa. I, I'll still crush oh, one. Oh, I know. Okay. Okay. Frozen I'm not meals. your teacher, by the way. I'm oh, sorry. I was like, okay. I just I'm had, like, can I tell her not this? Yeah. I'm such garbage. Um, the, the horrible most, the frozen dinners, budget gourmet. Oh. I don't know that, but it doesn't sound great. Look. They were up there with Dinty Moore. Yeah, Dinty. Beef <laughs> steak. Ooh, that was See, I ate that shit too. God. Dude. What about Salisbury steak? I feel like that's the Ooh, trashiest of yeah. all the yes. frozen dishes. Swanson Salisbury steak <laughs> and the Swanson meals back in the day so good. were the th- pretty low rent, but they were great. The thing about frozen Salisbury <laughs> so steak good. is there's like a God, I love quiet oh, implication there. that you're you're fancy for being frozen. You know, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's like, hey, we got you some steak. It's like a hockey puck. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> the real I nice ones it. were like the lean cuisine. That lean was, cuisine. Like, my mom would have yeah. those. Yeah. Same you always geez. wanted them. I would eat. You she was for her only? She's like, yeah. yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Same, same with the thing. French bread pizza. Yeah. That was after a long day. Yeah. You know what I mean? God, there you was a premium about on those. Eating yeah. after <laughs> you get back from school. Yes. I would crush like two lean cuisine ravioli trays. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then my mom would come home, like, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, anything. Yeah. I would drink her, uh, what do they call it? The Slim Fast. Slim Fast. Like it was a soda. I didn't oh, know. Shit. So I would drink slim the Slim Fast. Any right. pretzels. Are those pretty good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just chocolate so milk, good. Dude, it's great. But I'll, get, that, I'll get your head on straight. I like post-school cereal, like going home. Yeah, sure. Any tight. time of the day. That's yeah. I like mixing it up, too, because yeah. we'd always have like a half a box of Rice Krispies, half a box of Rice Checks or something like that, and I, I'd Ooh, mix them all up together. My, that's name my own thing. Yeah. My family wouldn't buy Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Really? Yeah, they always wouldn't. So, but my neighbor would. I would go over there, and then the... The big payoff was just drinking the milk at the end. Yeah. It was just sugary right. milk. My mom yeah. wouldn't buy yeah. any sugar cereal. She would buy no. Frosted Flakes, but they would be the off-brand. Uh. Like fri- they literally, they were called <laughs> Frosted Flakes. You were really flakes. poor. They were I called think, what? Yeah. Frosted Flakes or something like that. <laughs> Fisted Flakes. Yeah. It was like Tony the Homeless Guy was on the box. Oh, my God. But we, anytime she got, if she got sugar cereal, we would eat it. Oh. Like, when she got back from the store, she would freak out. I just bought that. You ate the whole goddamn box. Of course. So she wouldn't get it. Oh, my God. God. Dude, what about um, Kraft Shaky Cheese? That was a sure. premium like of the, shaky. The, yeah, my family still uses it. No so need to I. refrigerate. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> you put and that we'll shit have, in the hot good. sun. We'll have the, be fresh, right. the fresh parm mm-hmm. sliced, mm. and she'll reach for Shaky Cheese over that. Like, Love wow. it. I don't mind it. I'll, all that, the cheese, the meats and cheeses, my wife's uh, German. So oh. like, it's, that's just introduced to me Love. in my late 20s of like, you don't buy Shaky Cheese. You get chunk of parmesan and shred it yourself are you guys doing what's the snack situation now at the house like for the kids and you guys so i keep my kids trashy as fuck first of all respect craft macaroni and cheese only i don't fuck with no annie's organic i like to keep them all annie's ain't bad yeah. I, uh, uh, I like the Velveeta bright. if you had a little case. Velveeta back in the to day. me, can that I tell you yeah. It was so fancy growing up that uh-huh. I still feel like that's a premium product that I don't deserve in my sure life, so is. I won't we buy it. Velveeta shells. Woo! Uh-huh. Who can afford that? Who's coming to so dinner good. with yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Getting the ambassador Must coming over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's how I keep them trashy as fuck smoked sausage link. Or pigs in a blanket. You're talking about little smokies? Hell Hill yeah. Farm yeah. Little no, but smokies? she'll also take the thing, eat them slice cold. them, and then put them on the pan, on the pan. so they, they kind of crisp nice. up. Yeah. I do, yeah. I do that. So that's my move. There's so a, put them in like the size of like a quarter. And yeah. yeah. There's a Char pantry at your house, I would assume, right? In the kitchen, you got a yeah. pantry, yes. you yes. walk in. Yeah. yeah. That's real nice. Yeah. Oreo Those cookies. He didn't ask about a pool. That's all right. You guys got a place for snacks, right? Yeah, it's a good pantry. Cheez Its, I believe, are a premium, too. Primo. Those were really. Still are. Yeah. It's a great brand. They I know I, what they're doing. So you have yeah. cheeses at the house for the I kids? I have cheeses at the house, Oreo mac cookies, cheese, Oreos. mac and cheese. You do goldfish? goldfish? Of course. And those were premium when I was a kid, so mm-hmm. I feel like my kids are really living now. This is kind of a yeah. study in like behavior, because like the oldest, he's seven, kid has access to a lot of stuff. He literally will be like, you know, I want the snack. Sometimes takes 
I don't know, three or four bites. And he's like, I'm good. That's crazy. And just leaves them. Yeah. So you're wow. like, well, giving a kid the option to eat stuff. You know, he doesn't yeah, want he doesn't, just yeah, bad yeah, food. Yeah, if you give him a, hold on. Tom has a very secret white trash inclination. Because you came out classy. He if came I out do, classy. You came out classy. Also, do you know we framed, you wrote down what the dinner what you spent on the dinner and we framed it. Oh, it's on our it's set. On set. It's on our new set. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We show I mean, it off when people dinner. come over. I should have. Like, take a look at Mr. Segura. I don't know if I was specific enough about this, though, <laughs> that it wasn't just like, how much for this dinner? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, sh- yeah. Like, we got to shut down mm-hmm. a really, like a crazy restaurant and essentially throw an event. It sure. was like an event. Do you know what the closest number was to that? What? 750 bucks. We almost threw them out of the studio. Yeah, who was that? I can't remember. It was somebody. It might have been David Cross. Shout out to no, him. No, no, it wasn't. It was somebody with a little bit of panache, too. Yeah? yeah. And they're like, I spent... spit at him. I said, get yeah. out of my face. We pulled the thing out. You see this? <laughs> <laughs> Go home and clean yourself up, you dirtbag. <laughs> Rub their nose in it. So here's Tom's okay. secret, secret trash yeah, inclination. Secret trash? And I only buy this for him because mm-hmm. no one okay. else eats well, his like shit this. house. Ooh, I'm actually curious right now. I don't know what, what you're you about. Don't remember, dude? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> American cheese. Oh, I love. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't eat slices, but nothing is be- uh, nothing is better on a burger for me than American cheese. Gotta be sure. The are way you doing craft singles? Or are you craft doing singles? Like- craft from singles. the deli, like the when no. you get a pound no. of American no. cheese because that's great craft too. Sing- I, mean, I would never do that. Craft singles. Deli craft is the only brand that exists. I didn't know you could buy American cheese. Really? Other than you don't go get a pound of American pound of turkey, blaze and buffalo oh. or something. Never. I get bummed when even though I've had a, you know countless burgers with. Cheddar, yeah. what, whatever you have, American on a it's burger. It is really Forget good. It. I love it. Forget so it. good. So but it's good. not good raw. Are awesome. Yeah. That's you know what usually bad. stinks is when they put cheddar on it. It's like, get the fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I want something with a little salty sweet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, a little chemical flavor. Yeah, yeah, speaking of, a little bit. Speaking yeah. of burgers, when you, right, will you cut your burger in half? Ooh. Normally, no. Normally, no. Normally, no. I mean, I've done it before, but I would say 90% of the time. So let's say you're eating your burger, right? You pick it up. You take a bite. Yeah. Do you put it back down that, or do you invert it and put it on the top? Oh, oh good. Um, I have done it, but I w- I'm going with majority. Uh-huh. Majority down. Straight back down. Straight majority down. down. There's a, yes. you in, people invert. You can invert it. That would be to me the classier. It is a classier, classier because way. what happens is those juices are so, so on the bottom, and what, the bottom bun is so the smaller bun. I've done that in the case where I like. I think I sense it. You're gonna fall. Yeah. You, like oh, so then I do it, but I'd say most of the time mm. I go down. The okay. Bun, yeah. Hold on, I have another trash inclination that my husband probably forgot to mention. Please. Sure. When he eats French fries, oh, oh boy, he dips them in mayonnaise and ketchup. It's very European. Ketchup That's what the and frogs mayo. do. The yeah. frogs do it all the but time. My wife does it too. Yeah. My entire life. Yeah. That was anti-American, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> commie <laughs> bullshit Thank you. about Thank you. dipping it in mayonnaise. And yeah. then yeah. I did it once. It's great. I'd been lied to my entire the life. The swirl. If you ever swirl it together, you ever mix them uh, together? You guys that, are disgusting. You mean, well, in Europe, is, you go, give me red and white. That's it's, what everybody's doing. All these remnants, all it's, that bullshit. It's, it's just a little Mac bit sauce. of mayonnaise. Yeah. It's Thousand oh, Island. You know, it's, mm-hmm. what we're in a, it's great. It's, my dad's favorite salad dressing, he would make it if he came home late. Yeah. Right? And he would have to make his own dinner. Yeah. He would take mayonnaise, ketchup, a little splash of Worcestershire sauce, yeah. and some Parmesan cheese and oh. whip that up, put that on a salad. Oh, wow. Woo! A couple of good? croutons on there. Good yes. night. Good Let's go. Night. Is that yeah. Russian dressing? Similar. It's dirt bag dressing. Yeah. Your dad, because my dad, I think I don't remember if I told you this or not. It's American dressing. Yeah, it's right American. There. <laughs> he, Shit, homie. You know, you, you when you're a kid, you do uh, like what your parents. Of course. Would do. So any, uh, he loved making. He would make steaks, serve them, and then like give you a one sauce. Right. Mm-hmm. So a one was just standard. Big a one. I didn't know until I was, I don't know, probably like in college or something. That like A one is basically to mask a shittier steak. Sure. sure. That yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah. getting like so I didn't and like as I discovered it's like oh yeah the uh, the steak with its seasoning is supposed to be if it's good enough it just should be that you're tasting that otherwise you're just tasting A one. Dude, I took this guy fucking five star steak. I mean this is a two hundred dollar mm-hmm. steak and he'd be mm-hmm. like, do you have A one? <laughs> I respect it. One though. time. <laughs> One time I was like, Hey, dickhead, like, grab me some ketchup, man. <laughs> Dude, we're at this Argentine restaurant. Like, there's no, that's like Argentina's, sure. you know, Texas, right? So uh-huh. it's all, it's just steaks. It's nothing but steak. Steaks and milk. And they go, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the server is like, Okay. And then a different guy 
comes out of the back, who's in like street clothes like me. And he goes, is there a problem? <laughs> and um, my dad's like, what's that? And he's like, is there a problem with the, the meat? Mm -hmm. And he's like, no. He's like, you want a one? And the, my dad goes, yeah. And he goes, you want to ruin the meat? <laughs> like That what, would petrify right? me. And I was like, like this? And my dad goes, yeah. <laughs> And, and he didn't even, he was like, mm -hmm, uh, yeah, just did not even phase by it. Towards, the, the, pleasure of towards the end of his life, because I would work on this. I would take him to like these amazing restaurants. I'd be like, I would go, could you do me one favor? Mm -hmm. I could get, get whatever you want. Will you take one bite without that shit on it? He'd start to do it. And then one time, you know, he gets this like fucking, I don't know what it is, like some crazy bone in ribeye or Tomahawk wagyu. Or something, yeah. And he takes it, he goes, guess what? This doesn't even need a one. <laughs> Oh, I was shit. like, wow. Yeah, $50 yeah. an ounce. It yeah. fucking shouldn't. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. A big trash determination. Do you guys remember <laughs> when Montreal steak seasoning came into your life? <laughs> Wait, no, what? Really? I remember that night, it, that oh. night it happened. You remember the night it yeah. happened? Yeah. Like you was, lost your virginity. Yeah. 100%. It was, they were made marinated chicken in it and blew my fucking tits off. Yeah. This is a regional thing, you guys. Oh, wow. This is not a West. Do you have this, Nadav? Angelino's in the booth? Mm, I this never is fucked not with this. No, really. This is listen. When you coastal. leave here, stop and grab something. Do your really? Turn your life favor. Around. That's the wow. move, huh? That's the move. It's a real dirt bag. I mean, we thought we were fucking. <laughs> I remember getting people like everything was salt and pepper, uh -huh. and then I remember basically, I don't know, probably in my twenties, having that first friend that like was into barbecuing and grilling, mm -hmm. who was in, who discovered seasoning things like really. Se because now it's become this huge industry, and you go like, holy, and you learn that it was just a little bit of this. A little bit of that, a yeah, little bit of that. Yeah, you know, it was, that was, but I don't remember specifically Montreal steak seasoning. Oh, um, wow. How do you get your steak cooked? That's another big that's thing. That's a big thing. Oh, yeah, thing. that's a huge one. What are I you mean, doing? I'm medium rare. Medium rare? Gentlemen. Medium. Yeah. Because I'm still distrustful of the man, but like I want to enjoy <laughs> Now, let me ask you this. Bit. That's just mediums or anything over medium stuff. It's, it's yeah. terrible. Yeah, you can't do Terrible. It. This is a couple's thing. Sure. What do you do when you go out to dinner together and you get the porterhouse? Are you oh. conceding to her and getting medium for no. her? No, really? no, I'll no. go his way, but I'll eat the ends. She will. And then She'll eat, eat the middle. Those things are never, it's never yeah. quite never equally cooked. cooked yeah. yeah, so there'll be, there'll be rarer pieces in the middle. Mm -hmm. You want to hear one? This is wild. Dave Oaken, shout out to Dave O, the greatest tour manager on God's, he's my tour manager. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. It's just on top of everything, knows production, knows, just, he runs the show. He just did this crazy 300 show tour with me. This guy, everywhere, we've gone to like world class restaurants on this tour. He eats his steak. He says, butterfly it. No. Wow. Well done. Wow. So he wants it split no. and then cook the shit out of it. We were at, we were in Argentina at Don Julio, one of like, like the premier, like the destination places to go to in Buenos Aires. And we go there and it's a whole show and it's just like this unbelievable. And I always tease him. We always tease him because he's always like, you sometimes when we're in steakhouses, he goes, butterfly, well done. They'll be like, what was that? And mm -hmm. he's like, burn it. And they're like, okay. And we're in this place where the guy's like not really speaking English that well. And he's like telling him, he's like, I like, cortalo así en dos. I was like, que lo separas así. Bien cocinado. And the guy comes back and he puts it on his plate and Dave cuts it. And he goes, not enough. And what? I thought he was doing a bit. I thought he was Ew. doing a bit. I was like, Haha. and the guy's like, enjoy. And he's like, no, no, no. Put no, it back bro. on the grill. And the guy was like, what? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, put it back. And I told him, I was like, I explained to the guy, I go, no, he wants it more. And he goes, yeah, it's too, too much. But here's the thing. There's always a story. Because I was like, why do you like it? That's an emotional thing, yeah. Why do you sure. like it this cooked, sure. right? He's like, make it beef jerky. And I'm like, mm, why? Gross. Just get a burger. As a kid, yeah. his father liked basically just barely seared, seared bleeding, like be almost raw meat. Mm -hmm. And that's the origin for him wanting it. Complete opposite. The, op the complete yeah. opposite. That makes yeah. sense. There's always a story, you know. Yeah. Can I say this though? Yeah. A steak like that, which I've had. Yeah. Ketchup's all right on it. Yeah, yeah if sure. If it's that yeah. cooked, you put a little ketchy on it. But here's it's the thing: you're, when you're wet, you're wet. It's yeah. raining. Who gives yeah, you exactly. a little hind? You're here's already steak. a dirtbag. Here's yeah. the thing: they're already making fun of you. In the if kitchen. your solution yeah. is yeah. like, let's you're get dead. some ketchup for this, you're, you're already dead. you failed. Yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Yeah, like you know, it's a little mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. But that's actually the thing with the fries. Fuck. 
That's the classier move. Thank you. The mayonnaise. Si, it is. It's right, a, but, I don't know how but, you say a je ne sais quoi about mixing the mayonnaise. But, but what you're saying is true that I think it, it's changed with the times. That growing up in the 80s, that was tantamount to moving to Russia, the Soviet Union. Oh, sure. you'd be put on and, a list if you did <laughs> yeah. that. And, yeah. But now it's the times have changed. Do you remember the off-brand Hawaiian punch? Huh. You're garbage if you know that. I'm sure I do. The off-brand Hawaiian punch is known as... Tahitian treat. Ah. I didn't even know that was off brand. Wow. I thought that was its own brand. Yeah, I thought that was its own That's the thing. reason I want to go to Tahiti <laughs> is because of that drink. <laughs> I. That's trash. Okay. That Tahitian right. treat is hey. supposed to be fucking Hawaiian punch, but it's like yeah. the shittier one. It's Tahitian like the dollar store version. Yes. I used to get it at the bodegas in college. Oh, it's all I mean, right. this is Tahitian garbage. Treat. Did you guys so go to though. college in Philly? I went to Temple, yeah. You did go to Temple, okay. Mm -hmm. I went uh, just outside of Philly. Okay. Two years. Okay. <laughs> I don't know my associates. <laughs> you guys both graduated college? Yeah. You did? Yeah, but I went, to, I went to the only school that accepted me. You'd never heard of it. It's called Lenore Ryan in North Carolina, and she actually went to a real... Yeah, but I barely got in. Where'd you go? University of San Francisco. But I got in on academic probation. They only let me take twelve units the first semester. Like, Yikes! Barely. I didn't. Even, I didn't crack a thousand on my SATs. That's another really? big question. Good we for ask you. SATs. Never did. I did. I got an eight seventy. Yeah. <laughs> That's like what I got. Eight seventy. Did you? I'm pretty sure around there. Like, I could have gone to the University of San Francisco with that. Jesus. Yeah, but my grades were decent. Did you have decent grades? Yeah. No, oh, they, nah, they were bad. So my senior year, I did really good because I was in something called social lab. Where he only went to school for half of the day. And the other, other half, kids in helmets. He had an internship. <laughs> Jesus, really? Yeah. That's cool. It was awesome. My wrestling he, coach dude, was the teacher. Born to be a dirtbag. Why were you only? Why were you in this the lab? Uh, well, it was an actual laboratory. Right. They just but I mean, it. why? Why half days? Because you were supposed to do an internship oh, in the you afternoon. Oh, and you didn't, or you did? For like a week, I worked at Merrill Lynch. <laughs> you did? And I, oh I interned gosh. at Merrill Lynch in college. <laughs> no, sorry, it was actually a pay. It wasn't an internship. I was, I was like the top <clears throat> broker's uh, assistant, and I did it for like, I don't know, three to six months. I was something. running the analytics department. For were you really? No, not at all. <laughs> they had me doing some stupid stuff, and then my boy, my buddy was there with me, and we were like, this sucks. I don't want to do this for the rest of the year. Senior year, you know what I mean? And uh, he remembered that his, his uncle had a construction company. So we talked to our teachers. Like, we think we want to, you know, maybe get into construction after, after high school. So we went to his uncle and was like, yo. And the uncle was like, here's the deal. I'll see you guys in the spring. And just went back in the spring and signed our paperwork. Just went fishing every day, dropped acid, hung out. Nice. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was pretty, awesome, That's man. pretty awesome. That's amazing. Dude, leaving school at 11? That's amazing. Good night. As a senior? Oh, coming back for football practice and the games? And you spent the day chilling? Chilling. Yeah. Chilling. Wow. That's pretty rad. You really yes, figured I mean, it out. It's amazing. He's made every wrong decision in his yeah. life. It's it all worked out, though. Yeah. We're sitting here with you guys. Yeah. Huh? yeah. No, no, of course. Of course. But anytime he's faced with, like, the fork in the road, he always goes the wrong way, dude. Every single fucking time. That's why time. you're a comic. Yeah. 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 Every single time. Take That's the road fun. with more ketchup on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know to add mayonnaise. That's yeah. the great thing. Yeah. That's, 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 a, that's a sweet. The French do French fries. On a different level. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. And also, have you had basted fries? What's that? I, th there's a way to prepare them. I don't know if you go Google basted fries, where I, I had the best French fry I've ever had. And I was like, why is this so perfect? And they're like, they're basted. Could have been cooked in like, like duck battered? fat or something like that. It's a certain, I don't know. Look for an actual recipe. Like I hit a recipe on basted French fries. Because the way that they describe at a restaurant, I was like, they just broke a certain, you know what I mean? They had like a certain sure. texture to them. Love that. And I was like, this, this is just too good. Well, you, uh, they like double fried or something? I love beer battered so for a beer battered I, fries. Can I say something? Oh, cool. I hate beer battered onion rings more than life. I fucking really? hate beer battered. Wait, I, I, I like one. the hard ones, like the shitty ones from Carl's Jr. Which That's I, not They have batter. like crumbs on the outside. I like crumbs. You don't like the beer batter. Because it's too fluffy and like the, it's really? always too oily yeah, and they shit. Yeah, it doesn't hold oh. together. Yeah. So Onion like rings got to be eaten within the first like minute of, yeah. getting, of getting dry. But what I for like sure gives you diarrhea? Thing. Like what's an automatic diarrhea? Breakfast this morning did for me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a rough day. Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it, uh, what was it about? Was it greasy? Was it oily? I think greasy. There were some peppers in there, you know, if we want to get into it. Did you have talks? 
What's tox? Tacos? Like no, tacos. it was uh, hash, you know, some eggs and uh, hash or something at the airport? Like that. No, it was it's gotta be here bad at, the, for me. at the hotel. Yeah. Oh, I can no. hang with anything. Sorry. You can hang with it's most got, things. It's gotta be, there's got to be an element of food poisoning in it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So oil and grease won't do it? Nah. You'll still be normal after nah. that? <laughs> nah. It's like Not a shark, rock solid. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Which so, I don't mind a little food poisoning every once in a while. Look at it's this. It's all right. Look at this step on, on these like basic peep? fries. Drain the fries, patch right, dip into batter one at a time. So I guess oh. they're battering. Them. Yeah, oh, really shit. incredible. That's all right. Yeah, dog. No. Those French know what they're doing, man. There's a re, there's a um, a hotel. I want to say it's in Lexington, Kentucky, that it's the best French fry I've ever had. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was it was for a while. It was Wendy's. Wendy's right. had the best fries for a while. How about Hardee's? Didn't they have the uh, curly? Weren't they? They really had Hardee's. Arby's had the curly fries. You're talking fries. communism. Arby's is great. What? You're talking. Wendy's? You said fucking Wendy's has the best French fry? Oh, no. At a time. At a time. Full at well a time. knowing McDonald's is. I love McDonald's fries. A, a golden Dave s- Thomas is a proud American. What are you talking about? <laughs> you never heard nobody adopted kids. Those two girls were whores. Everybody knew. <laughs> <that. laughs> you would take a Wendy's fry over a McDonald's? No, not now. Not now. The Wendy's had their they had, had their time. time. They, did. they, they had, had a run. They yeah. had okay. a run. Okay. We were talking about this last night. The Wendy's salad bar that had the spaghetti and the tacos. Uh-huh. Ooh, oh wow! The Pizza Hut Gosh. buffet also had a great taco. Did you guys have oh, Pizza Hut buffet? Yeah, for a minute. I remember yeah. that. That was. What's Yo. your What's your go to um, delivery pizza? Like your, chain like that? Yeah, chain. Yeah. Well, this is. We got into a real big fight with Stav with Stavros about this. Oh, I love him. There was I have, a time. I have my go to. As of now, right now, it's Domino's okay. is the best doing it. Uh-huh. Pizza Hut had their time, had their run. They set the curve. They've dropped the ball completely. Listen, yeah. there was Today nothing better. Domino's. There was nothing better than walking into a Pizza Hut in the '80s or the '90s and sitting down, hitting a salad yeah, bar, getting dog. a hot pizza brought yeah, over, dog. having an ice cold Coca Cola. Your dad out of can those get a beer. Cups. Yeah, but. The fountain drink slapped That's at the over. Pizza Hut. The Ooh. orange soda was tight. Those Yo, big red glasses. The crushed ice. Ooh. Okay, what about round table? Did you guys have round table pizza? I don't know. No. That, that was dog shit. The sauce was extra sweet, but it was really good. It was, that was for like kids. I hated Papa John's when that I hate dropped. Fucking that Papa shit John's sucked. Too. Did you guys have the place that had the 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 pizza and had the the organ player who would play any song you wanted to play like as a kid? What? You know what yeah, I had that. That's I had that. Is that a chain? Yeah, it was in. It was uh when I was a kid. We would an go organ player. Yeah, there was an organ player, and you could be like, play the Star Wars theme, and he'd be like, all right. And, he'd play <laughs> that for you. and then if it was your birthday, you know, he'd do a happy birthday. But he would play like. Like uh, theme songs and things that any kid would want to request. Chuck E. Uh, Cheese or something? No, nah, yeah, but it well, wasn't a Chuck E. Cheese. It was like a. It was one of the shittier knockoffs, you know. <laughs> pizza and pipes. Remembering the dining fad of pizza and pipe. Oh, oh, so that was a thing. Yeah, Arizona, yeah. Illinois, Wisconsin. Yeah, that's cool. I would have loved that as a kid. That yeah. sounds amazing. Oh, that looks oh, that amazing. That looks pretty fun. That's pretty yeah, sweet. That's dope. Yeah, that's, this is he what, was up on yeah. stage. That's like a oh, dinner yeah, theater. dude. Yeah, it, it was like. So if you're a kid, that's fun. You would just be like, you know, play the Transformers fucking song, <laughs> and then <laughs> what a gig. <laughs> you play, it. You play it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> run it back. What I say? Do the thing when Darth <laughs> Vader walks in. Play that. <laughs> you didn't know the name of anything. <laughs> what uh? Yeah. Play Layla, but just the end. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. was uh, the go-to like fine dining? Not fine dining, uh, casual dining. Bro, between Sizzler. an Applebee's, a Friday's, oh, uh, Sizzler. Sizzler, Sizzler. Malibu about. chicken, Sizzler. So trashy. I don't even know what it is. Malibu, <laughs> Malibu chicken. My dad <laughs> fucking loved Friday's. Fries. Sure, Fridays. Say Friday's, Applebee's. They do a good job. He would always <laughs> do that. They do a good job. <laughs> Friday's is great, dude. And he loved ch- when Chili's came out. He was like, "This is kind of high end." Like that was that was ethnic for my family. Like, you're a Chili's. <laughs> yeah. Nah, this I is remember, America. I remember one time like meeting them on the road, and I was like, <laughs> "They're like, you want to meet at Chili's?" I go, "You know what? Why don't no. you have dinner on your own?" I was like, "I don't want to go to fuck." I was so over the sure. the repetition of these places. I was like, "Why don't we just find like a good spot to eat?" <laughs> mm-hmm. And they were like, "What's wrong with that?" I was like, "It's not that it's wrong. I'm just like, we're we're in another city. Like, there's options here. Sure. Let's go find a fucking place to eat." And they're like, "I don't. They don't get it." No, and he was like. What was it? It's uh, was was it Applebee's or Fridays? They do the really. He goes the the Jack Daniels chicken and shrimp. It's really, that's Fridays. That's Friday. He's like that's Friday's. a dad order, by the way. Oh yeah, you goes, have to have multiple <laughs> children to oh, yeah. order that. He the goes, Jack Daniels sauce. Yeah. He goes, I love the Jack Daniels sauce, and he's like, you know, they give you a good amount of shrimp too. It's like, yeah. Good, like, <laughs> so that's, he was really. Yeah, he's yeah. like, and the price is like <laughs> eighteen bucks. Like, at seven ninety nine. When the surf, when the surf and turf is steak and uh, steak and shrimp or yeah. shrimp and chicken. Well, here's a here's a problem with Sizzler is that. 
the steak and all you can eat shrimp was the highlight, but it was expensive. It wasn't a cheap night out to do Sizzler's all you can eat steak and fried shrimp. Yeah, the fried shrimp were so yeah. good. And showing the commercial them falling yeah. on the plate. Oh. Do you want to pre- go. Do you want to mentally prepare them for what they're going to do here? I know. Oh yeah. So um, are you guys familiar with the app TikTok? Are you on there? Yes. So what I like to do, I don't. I curate the marginalized communities, the sure. people whose voices aren't heard. I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you're okay. Aware. I don't know, okay. I don't know yeah. if you knew familiar with my work. So yeah. these are my curations. So <laughs> any with my work. any way that you feel <laughs> is okay. Just know that. Yeah. Okay. These, these are usually an emotional ride. I haven't seen these. <laughs> they're all picked by her, and we just. I don't know. Let's just start. Let's go for a stroll. I'm going to talk about relationship privilege. My husband and I are in a non-monogamous marriage. We have been for 12 years. Almost 13. We're currently in Mumbai staying in this beautiful apartment overlooking one of the poorest areas in the city. I am feeling incredibly privileged at this moment. When people ask about couples privilege and polyamory, they're often referring to a person dating a married couple, but it can be anyone dating someone else who is part of a primary relationship. It also often refers to couples trying to date a third person or trying to date a unicorn. My husband and I have never dated together, but it's definitely a question that we get pretty often. And my first response is always, yes, I have couples privilege. My husband and I <laughs> share finances, <laughs> have two kids together, share a home together. Being in a primary relationship is something that we want for ourselves and it's also how we feel like we give the most stability to our children. And I don't apologize for that relationship style. It's what works for us. And we're always very clear to someone who's interested in dating us that we are in a hierarchical relationship and if that's something that they're not okay with, we 100% respect it's that. It's exhausting. It's it sucks. Just broad yeah. 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 And having an we can stop. I, I don't think so we can. Thank it's you. unbearable. Christ. So this is what I'm saying. Sometimes you watch this and you want to kill yourself. <laughs> she but, fucking stinks, oh, dude. Yeah. Man. The worst. But no wonder he's trying to be in an open relationship. He's like, please, yeah, I yeah. gotta fuck 13 someone. 13 years with her? Jesus Christ. Fucking throw myself off that balcony. Zip it, lady, lady. <laughs> she fucking stinks. I want to move to the poorest part of this yeah. poor country. Like, you yeah. like banging other dudes, we get it. <laughs> we don't need the speech. Yeah, the speech is like, the just speech. do it. Yeah. And like, the amount of rationalization that has to go on for them to continue this lifestyle like bitch just like your your husband just wants to fuck other broads yeah stop trying to like rationalize it there's so much rationalization oh boy i already i already know what this next one is this guy fucking a i love this guy (laughs) i do not look like bill gates okay (laughs) stop telling me i look like bill gates i do not look like bill gates not bill gates if i wish i had his money though (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Man, it looks like a crazy math teacher. Uh, What's you, with that angle? Uh, <laughs> that's the first question. That's why he's on the show. He knows uh, to with that angle. Uh, this is also the second in his I Am Not Bill Gates series. The first one he just did him in, in the dark. He, he doesn't even look like dark. him that much. No. no. Like, you were like, who does he look like? I would have there. <laughs> no, but it's also great. People like people who are not social media savvy sure. don't figure out that when you go, stop doing that, that people go, Okay, yeah. I'll do this more. Like that's yeah, always yeah. the formula. I could maybe say it a little bit in the glass. I mean, like, I mean, if you're yeah, asking me, it's it's like when people <laughs> I don't know they see you like with a beard and they go like you look like Zach Galifianakis and yeah. you're like uh, okay yeah like I have a beard and they're like that's the you know I, they just think of somebody they know sure that has a one quality that you have. I get Bobby Moynihan a lot. Okay, yeah, mm. yeah, sure. Oh, Jesus. Did a little bit of core workout today, <laughs> and Leela brought us three-minute arm routine. And believe me, that's three minutes, minutes of hard work. Uh-huh. Nine sets of uh, of arm arm exercises in three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> forgot the word arm during his arm and exercise pitch. Working hard on it. Ugh. I like the shitter cam angle. <laughs> yeah. that, that angle is, and he always has to end with like. Yeah. I want to know who he thinks he's talking to. Well, now he's talking to He's talking to a lot of people at the moment. (laughs) He didn't think it was going to be this. He really lucked out. It's definitely definitely for chicks. This is for female um, approval and... and, and, (sighs) It's so cringeworthy. Because the workout brag, it can serve many functions. It can serve to signal other alpha males in the area. (laughs) But it really, in this one, it's chicks. He's trying to get chicks. And I agree, the angle's preposterous. He should I be get outdoors. It. I don't want to say I don't get it. What he's doing is he wants the dopamine hit of someone being like, you look good. You look good. Yeah. Or a like, or the yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah. course. That, that's what's going but on. At least I mean, he has no outside. definition in his arm. He's bragging about his fucking arm. <laughs> he's in good shape, though. But he did core today. Today was he's an no arm day. Yeah. It is core day, he said. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Good afternoon, TikTok. It's raining out there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. 
not, not like California, but Makes I'm my going blood to get run my cold. hair cut today when I get off of work. That tooth. I love the white right here. However, I don't like the blonde. Mm -hmm. But that blonde right there is what used to be red. And now it's growing in I can't. growing in silver. So I'm either going to cut the blonde away. What's she going to do? I'm on <laughs> tender hooks yeah. here. This is a very specific lane of TikTok, <laughs> which teeth. is like, I have no idea how to entertain it. Like, I'm just going to list things. Like, I had, there was milk, it's raining. Uh, milk today. <laughs> and yeah, it's raining outside. Uh -huh. I don't know what color I want in my hair. <laughs> I just, later on, I have to go pick up my kit. Like, it's just a just list. Just rambling. Of, I'm yeah. a madman. Yeah. I yeah. bet you if you asked every mm. kid in that school that she's driving the bus for, they would say she's the she's the best bus yeah. driver. You think she's a good bus driver? Probably yes. awesome. Yeah. She's yeah. rad. I probably like get her. some candy bars at the end of the year. They got her on TikTok. For, you got to get on TikTok. They, they yeah. probably told yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. I She's mean, this so has another her. fucking like 40 seconds of this. Well, you just sometimes you just need the flavoring. You don't need the whole thing. Or what is wrong with that tooth? It's fucking killing me. Why is it again. so much bigger than the others? <laughs> what do you think? I do want about that much. There's another <laughs> thing that's fascinating about um, people, some people who go, who don't realize you're not talking. This, this reads like a conversation. You're like, oh, where's the other side of this? You are. I'm thinking, you know, like should I cut call. it here? Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, there's no Who one. asked you this? Yeah. Are you sending this to one person? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> the night. Hold on, start it over again. You missed the point. This uh, is so good. The places this guy's in is okay, weird. Right, right, yeah. right? Here, here's what he's That opening smile is giving worst. me shivers it's right now. It's the worst, okay. yeah. That's the ahead. last thing you see before you get stuffed in a cooler. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, you take care now. Uh, <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> okay, that guy's got I bodies really on him. I want to wrestle the night. Oh. How many thermostats are on the wall? But I'm going to do it. What? Okay. What? He really wants to wrestle tonight. His back hurts, but he's still going to do, do it. Gonna but do he it. says it like this. He goes, my back hurts. Oh, but I'm still gonna who's he wrestling? It. That's the question. So. An anti undertaker. Uh. No. <laughs> Back hurts, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it, Man. dude. I met the Undertaker oh. last week. No Did shit. You? Yeah, I went to his Whoa. house. What? Yeah, <laughs> and he was the nicest fucking guy. <laughs> We're morphing into the same <laughs> person. Yeah, that was adorable. Yeah, Holy we shit. spent too much time together. The yeah. nicest fucking guy. Really? I have ever met. Is there a lot of velvet Damn. in there, dude. No. Was it like how you would picture the Undertaker's house? It's pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, it's oh. amazing. But um, a couple of bucks on. Oh yeah, that was all right. No, yeah, yeah, dude. It's, yeah, it's it's an impressive place. But it was just to check out a piece of workout equipment. I was like, I was I'm buying this workout, and I was like, I want. I don't know if I want to use this. Can you get this? He's like, Well, we make one. Like one of the, the guy was like, I make. He goes, I go. Well, I'd like to try it before I commit to buying it. He goes, Why don't you go over to Mark's house? I was like, Who, All right, Mark has one. And then he goes, Then he texts me. He's like, Hey, Mark, this is Tom. And I was like, What's up, man? And then he goes, oh, just so you know, you know, Mark is the Undertaker. I'm going, I'm going to the Undertaker's house? <laughs> Holy shit. And I went to his house, and he was like, he was like, hey, what's up? But like from in the driveway, and I was like, hey, man. I was like, yeah, I, I didn't know. I got, I got a text that I'm going to the Undertaker's house. He goes, I don't know the Undertaker. Like, just like, you know. Yeah, some characters. Yeah, yeah. He would, and he couldn't have been nicer. God, it's yeah, he awesome. seems awesome. Yeah. Damn. A That's lot cool. of those guys seem... Pretty down to earth and pretty. Cool. I mean, you'd have to be genuinely, yeah. yeah, genuinely like, and it, you know, it's a hard way to make it a wasn't living. like here's the thing. Why don't you? Like, he was just like hang out, you know, it was just like it was super, super. Did cool. you hang out for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I mean, he was a, such a. Genuinely they have, they're like comic, totally, yes. because yes. they start off as kind of nobodies, getting one match every month or two months or whatever. A lot of travel, dude. He was telling me it's about tough. about uh, the era when he was doing two hundred and fifty matches. Like days of of matches a year. Fuck Jesus. that! And like how the how his body. Because back in the day, short. they used to not even be televised. They would just go yeah. to like no, Wednesday no, no, to like no. Tulsa and, for, and do a show forever until he had more juice. It was twos, two doubles. They do two matches a day, and he so he'd yeah. do the whole thing, and then you just damn. like have a beer and a steak, and then like do it again. God damn! Like do the whole thing just like us, just like do yeah. another yeah, show yeah, yeah. to the point he was like, I'm gonna do singles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, but he was, he was a super, super, super sweet guy. Damn. What is the most important <laughs> law in the universe? You may not date your friend's ex. 
That is all. <laughs> That's a great rule. Yeah, this guy is doing a series of stuff like... Fuck your spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit you're going to die? Call in sick to work. I don't even believe that's his real accent, by the way. It sounds <laughs> fake. It's, it's, it's real dialed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hamming it up. That is a good that is a good rule though. Don't fuck your 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 friend. I even had a, in college mm -hmm. a guy who I like we were friends and then we kinda like weren't that and his ex came over to my place one night and just put it on me. Like put it fully on me. Uh -huh. Are these whores? And I, <laughs> and I was fucking twenty years old. Sure. But I'm saying, it was it, w it wasn't like I think I could. Like she just went for it, and I said no, because he's my friend. It's a great well, guy. Because I even, and I and here's the thing, I didn't even fucking like him anymore. And I was like, I I, I go, this would be too, it would be too, too much to deal with. Another guy mm -hmm. had the same opportunity with the same girl, and did. And it, you know. <laughs> Where's that guy? I want to do that guy's podcast. <laughs> yeah. You're let me tell you something, Mrs. Zagura. You're really dabbling in uh, you, 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 you. Oh, yeah? This is a hot topic for you guys? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What, he you fucked your ex? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and Dora's dating for seven years. Oh, that, all right. Well, but that has turned into something then. Sure, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Him yeah. and my girl dated for a couple of months. Casual, whatever. Okay. It's not like they hooked up or anything. <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, we fell in love and we've been together ever since. Aww. I mean, but that's, that's sure. It's not the same example. The same. Sure. She was just going to let me put it in her ass. <laughs> like, 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 yeah. God, I swear, I've, I've known this guy for 20 years and we do, he, he's always been like, you know, I just I wasn't a big dater. And then we turn on these mics, and he's like, this fucking whore. <laughs> this I just, I just told a story about how I didn't do something. It's true. It, I feel like it counts, though, getting proposition. You couldn't even tell me? What? What would the story have been? One time, this beautiful girl with the tightest little hole came oh my over. God. <laughs> Threw it at me. <laughs> Begging for All it. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. All okay. right, one last one before okay. we wrap this up. Uh, what is? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> there he is. Oh, I had a cold for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had my eyes examined yesterday. They put that weird stuff in, and it makes me sick for a couple of days. Yeah. Thanks for the update. I still got a little bit of a workout today. Somebody get this guy a fucking tripod, please. What the fuck? Should be coming up soon. I'm still waiting to hear from the promoters. What? Hold on, I gotta Wait, hear this. Again. I, what? Yeah, the ankle is like. They put that weird stuff in it that makes me sick for a couple of days. But I still got a little bit of a workout today. Little by little, we gotta build back up. Wrestling matches should be coming up soon. Oh, and the I'm wrestling. Oh, he's actually promoters. a professional wrestler. Yeah, and he's like, no, I'm still uh, waiting to hear from promoters, though. Like, I've sent my tapes in, and no one has called. But, but <laughs> you know, here's like, the deal, man, is that I watch his life, and he's like, I fed the cows today, I fed the sheep. Like, I think he lives on a farm. Really? This is his work. He's doing these from his office, but I'm like wrestling. I guess it's like amateur in the neighborhood. Yeah, like backyard, you yeah. know, local wrestling. Because he's a, he's a, he's like a what's a, a rural kind of guy, David Cold seven one three five, who doesn't look like Bill Gates. But the angle, oh, it's crazy. It it's is nuts. the taking a shit. I wonder what his stage name is. <laughs> When did you get the idea for Microsoft? How did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> he should wrestle on their Bill Gates, though. That should be like, <laughs> some quotations. Yeah, you know, Bill or Billy Gates, you Billy know? Gates. Just throw a little... Like, Badass Billy Gates. I'm having like trouble that. with my spreadsheet. Uh, <laughs> Billy the Doss Gates. All right. Um, <clears throat> go see Are You Garbage right now. Buy tickets at the, to the Stay Trashy Tour at areyougarbage.com. Make sure you go... And download and subscribe. Watch on YouTube. Are you garbage? It is a such an entertaining podcast. Aww. And of course, Thanks, of course, get it on the Patreon, the greatest website Ooh. in the whole wide world. <laughs> Paying the bills, baby. You ain't lying, bills. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Thank you guys for coming. Oh, thank, you for guys. thank you for coming. Thank you This has been awesome. And Christina, we can't wait to have you on. Dude, yeah. it's you happening. It's happening. Yeah. Next I mean, time you're in New York, I'm going to come know, in a please. day early just please. to dedicate uh, the time for you guys. I think we all already know the verdict, but you should definitely go on. Uh, bring your razor blade. You got it. I have no problem swallowing. Okay, you come, you come. Let me see, let me see how much you come. Let me, let me see all that jump. Okay, well, you, you just uh, let me have it right now. I want it. I need it. I need it right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh I can feel it. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah.
so can't sit around all day sitting in his tit cups. There's one tit cup up. Did you like that full episode of your mom's house? Are your jeans as high and tight as they can be? I doubt it. Watch some more clips, dude. Look at that one. Watch that one right here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should subscribe. That way, every time a new video gets posted, you'll be notified. Stay in the know, jeans. Subscribe now. <laughs>